Hi, Jose. I was. Hey, Zaddy. <laughs> I was coming on real quick to. Uh, hi, T. Hi, B Rose. Hi, Love Speak. Thank you, Stefan. I was coming on to see. <laughs> zombie. Somebody named Zombie, y'all. <laughs> hi, Zombie. Thanks for joining, Zombie. We appreciate your presence here. <laughs> I was coming on real quick to see what was going on because um, I posted a couple of videos and nothing was happening on my page. Like, nobody even viewed them. So I don't know how this thing works. If I'm like, if that's the thing they call the shadow ban thing or whatever. But um, I just was clicking the button live to see if somebody would see me because nobody could see my post. I love speaks. Hi, hi. Thank you for being ink wells. Hi. So yeah, I posted a couple of videos and um, nothing happened. So I pressed the live button to see if they had people that was going to see me on live because, you know, nobody saw my videos. I don't know what that mean. But in any case, I was doing some videos and showing how that um, that rare earth magnet, how I use it for grounding. So if you all are in interested in seeing that magnet that I was talking about on my last live is on my page um, I don't know if it's when it's gonna start spinning but it hasn't yet but um hey big T I think it takes a little time for people to see them yeah but it's been a minute it's been I did that maybe about an hour ago and it was just sitting at zero so I don't know what that mean yeah I don't know what I mean. So I came on here to figure out if, you know, if people in, on a live will come and look, they got 102 people here, but zero people on the video. <laughs> I don't know what that mean. But anyway, hello, everybody. Thank you for being here. I just wanted to um, jump on real quick just to talk about meditation and grounding yourself. So it's, it's so many different ways to ground yourself, but just remember, even if you don't have the rare uh, magnet that I have on that particular uh, video, just taking your shoes off in some good soil, you know, and just being focused energetically. If you look at the universe and think of uh, energy, frequency, and vibration, you'll be able to understand the totality of who you are. And when you understand the totality of who you are, then you better understand the totality of what it is. Because as within, so without, you know, as above, so below, however you look at it. If you're in religion on earth as it is in heaven. Yeah, I haven't seen it, y'all. You haven't? Yeah. So, I don't know. And, and um, Big T was just on my page. So, he, if he ain't seen it, then, oh well. I guess it's coming. Whenever it comes, I'm not worried at all. I just wanted to um, let you all know that it was there. So um, that's a way of grounding and in it, it energetically, like just like how we have, we're composed of all of these minerals, you know, we're, um, we need like iron, you know, to help deliver oxygen in our blood, like, right? So the earth already has these things, like, right? So when we ground ourselves, we're really being magnetically attached or connected to all the minerals, minerals, all the life force that is part of ourselves, our C-E-L-L-S cells as well. And so it gets you back connected and energetically, it, it keeps your body in a harmonious state. It'll help with your chakra pools of energy, you know, that correlate with the organs inside of your body it'll help you to create um a healthier state of being because then you your energy now is balanced after you've grown yourself now you feel a piece of a sense of calming and peace and like um it's like a harmonious state of being it really feels really really good if you haven't grounded before especially when you use the rare earth um element to help you assist with it but if you don't have that, like I said, it's, 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 it's just a tool, you know, at the end of the day, you're the most powerful tool that there is. So just you putting yourself in the earth, you know, it's almost equivalent to like, you know, how you have this uh, cordless phone at the house and you put that cordless phone on the mount to recharge. Pretty much that's what you're doing with your body in physical form. You recharge and you're getting you some more juice because this is where you stem from you know this is this is our so-called home right absent from the body present with the lord the universe right so i wanted to um 
just really talk about that real quickly and, sh and let y'all know that I have been posting. So maybe this uh, this live will help get a little bit more traffic. Yesterday, I didn't post at all yesterday because I'm about to start my business on the, you know, reopen my business on the 1st of August. And I was trying to make sure that I was really stocked up for that. And I had all my business aspects taken care of. So I've been kind of like busy doing that, making sure that I have everything. So, you know, that I have enough in stock for all of um, my detoxes, my, my lotions, my um, deodorants, my shampoo, my beard oil, everything that I have, even being me being available for consultations and stuff again, because really this is the place that, um, well, the reason why I did the early retirement and, and why I, I moved, you know, to step, tap into my passion and do the thing that I love to do because I felt tired of sleeping on me. So now I get to 100% do me and what feels good to me. And when you're in alignment with what feels good to you and you're meditating and you're connected to the universe, everything that you could ever possibly desire is going to be drawn to you. Just like that magnet that I'm speaking of, it'll be drawn to you energetically based upon where your frequency is. So I encourage you in your life, in your journey, do what feels good to you, you know? whatever your passion is even if you can't afford to maybe quit your job right now and do your passion full time at least do a little bit each day delegate some time throughout your day your time is your energy you turn the word time backwards and you have the word emit emit some energy on doing that which feels good to you and in in bake in that feeling you know of that it feels good as if you do it all day long and it'll come to you energetically because that that coincides with the law of assumption and the law of attraction you attract things with your thoughts your state of being we're just really going through different states of being so you might be in a state of being where you're working on a job right now but if you give your mind a new thought then you can become or be sit sent to another state of being energetically but you just have to kind of like quantum jump over there right now and then everything that you desire will be given to you so it's pretty much you have to ask right now and you shall receive let's see i'm seeing these things going up i just started grounding four weeks ago my sleep has got much better yeah what's my name 922 said that yeah yeah it really does and actually when you see that video i'm on a um on a magnet and it's like it gives you that that peaceful state of being i don't know if i could if i could ink which i don't remember this at all but it almost kind of feel like you like a little embryo like i mean i'm going forward with that but that's how cozy like like just being in like a a that little fetal position kind of like like just like no cares in the world like so peaceful oh my god it make you not want to get off of it but you know i only do it maybe about 20 to 30 minutes tops because it's a really really powerful form of energy and so you i don't need that much you know on that particular uh rare earth element that i use that rare earth magnet that's what i meant to say yeah butterfly me beautiful i love that name thank you for the roses babe yeah because it's time to enjoy you yeah eric it really is it's really time for all of us to do us you know it's you season hello with oh is that whitney oh whitney roberts hey hey whitney yeah i love everything you're saying i feel the same yeah definitely i am energy forever oh i like that name you already know this huh i am energy forever yeah that's right have not because we ask not yeah and that's how we act we act through thought energetically because we're energetic be beings you can look at it as the physical if you want to but if you go to the core of it all you can understand you and the, and the totality of the universe when you go to the core, you know, the first man in the biblical text, they say his name was Adam. Really, it is Atom. Atom. <laughs> yeah, let's go all the way to the Atom and understand ourselves, you know. Let's see. Some time after the rain stops, I do want the old people used to call walking, walking the grounds of my yard. Oh, okay. I do what the old people used to call walking the grounds. Okay, yeah, yeah, Big D. That's the old people, the elders. Man, they had so much wisdom 
in that day to pass down to us you know and we probably probably didn't understand it it probably you know even with the medicine it probably was the nastiest thing or whatever but they knew how to heal they knew how to stay connected and so i just wanted to kind of remind you oh that we need that you know and we, we we shy away from it especially ladies you know we get to the point where we if we're in corporate america and i'm guilty of this too you know going to corporate america all the time and wearing um heels you know wearing you know tennis shoes whatever and then they even twist it because they'll tell you you know oh you need to put some shoes on that's country or that's nasty or whatever granted yeah some places do have you know whatever dog poop or whatever but if you in your background you know you don't have a dog and you know you have a little even if you do you know you just keep them out of a certain area or whatever where you can have your shoes off and not be around the poop or whatever and just be grounded just connected by any means whatever you have to do to get to that state of being yeah when you begin to meditate how do you start what do you think about on that particular video i was just thinking um about clearing my chakra pools of energy but you can't get it wrong don't you can't get it wrong really the the thing about it is you just clear your mind and even if you um you could listen to music you know like soft um 432 um, hertz frequencies you can listen to even if you don't have no music or nothing you could have the the nothingness and pay attention to your breath you know you're inhaling and you're exhaling pay attention to that that way you're not thinking about you know what you're gonna do for the rest of the day and all them thoughts when they come you stop them and go back to that thing that thinking or like i'm in this car right now and the ac is on if I was to be meditating now, you could even I could even listen to the sound of the AC. You could listen to the sound of the AC in your home, right? And really, it's a it's about quieting your mind more than thinking. You know, it's about getting the thoughts to stop because that's what we always do, right? We always thinking. Meditation is just about stillness, the nothingness going back to the source because that's what we are right we're going back to the source of being the nothingness because we stem from the nothingness you know we were nothing first before we realized we were a thing so we go to that and you just just it's just calming your body if you decide though because there's levels to it you could you could be do do nothingness in the beginning but then if you decide to think about something make sure you think as if you are grounded remember to stay grounded because if you're going in to meditate remember this is like a rabbit hole your subconscious mind is really really deep so the first thing if you're trying to start thinking and stuff you want to imagine or think that you are grounded and connected to the universe right this is why sometimes you have people like under the bridge if y'all have like that's where y'all homeless people go or wherever your homeless people be at when you see them and they be underneath the bridge tripping and talking per se people think they trip it but they just be stuck in other realms other realms of their mind right and so they can't make it kind of like back to this here particular realm so you want to use protection i always tell people this first use whatever protection that you believe in and so for me that's being grounded being connected knowing that i have something here in this particular realm to come back to love connects us all so i connect myself to thought by anchoring myself in the universe and i just could imagine an anchor a hook in the universe with my mind closed with my mind's eye with my eyes closed i meant and using my mind's eye while i'm standing on the ground so no matter where i drift in my mind i will come back here and then i will just maybe imagine maybe my children you know something or someone you love my partner and i imagine you know the love that i have for them before I go in that, if you coming out of religion, what I used to do in religion, I used to pray a lot in religion, and I would, you know, say, you know, I I send my angels, Michael, Gabriel, Raphael, and Saint Clair, to fight against anything that's fighting against me, you know, to you know put a invisible shield of protection around me as I go in, because you want to have that assurance, because you don't want to be meditating and scared at the booger man or the devil or whatever you have in your subconscious mind is fear you don't want that thing to show face after you do that 
you wild out up there whatever it is that you're wanting imagine yourself living in the end of your wish fulfilled of the, the you know the health of this whatever state of being is that you want go be it be it in your mind and draw it to you energetically through thought so that's how i always do if i'm not most of the time i'm not really asking for nothing though most of the time i'm just going in for the feel good so i'm not really living in the end i'm actually living in my end right now because this is what I, my heart desire was you know this manifestation of being here so i could walk in my passion so i'm kind of like in my end already so now when i'm meditating i'm really just there finding the peace and the bliss and the joy and and kind of like imagining my chakra pools of energy are ignited you know and healed and imbalanced and i'm recharged and then i'm good and i come out of my meditation <laughs> but it's different for, for everybody but that is a beautiful question i hope i answered everything in detail enough for you let's see oh the comments jumped up let's see mm, a lot of people don't get to be 61 that understand that we did spend some years nor nothing i didn't get that one a lot of people don't get to be 61. okay that's a blessing if um if you are there if that's what you're saying but i don't understand the totality of your own um, question here let's say okay thank you i'm an overthinker so i definitely need to learn to meditate overthinkers you don't look at that as a negative thing because I'm an overthinker, but I believe, I know because of the things that I've drawn to me that I'm a master manifester. You use that overthinking, you just, all you're doing is stop the overthinking about negative things and start the overthinking of living in the end of the positive things. It's just like a flip of a switch and bam, bam, bam. Everything that you are thinking of will come to you like magnet because you are a magnet. You're attracting these things. Cause like I was tripping yesterday because I everything that I was thinking about yesterday just happened like it was it was an interesting day you know the people that I thought about yesterday you know the um, the things that I thought about doing and getting done they just happened and they were just being magnetically drawn to me but that's when you get in alignment but are them overthinkers once you get in alignment baby you you a bad a somebody I'm telling you but use it for good you know use it for the greater good of the all is all i could say is if i could tell you anything um okay eric says now what do you know that it was only god amen oh okay eric i see we fall down but thank god we don't give up yeah <laughs> that's beautiful i used to wonder what my grandfather would walk the whole farm without nothing on his feet yeah they call that country they call it old school they call, they call it whatever see when people talk about being crazy and being country and being this and being that that's why that's why i talk about self-concept too here you gotta know who you are you know because the crazy people the so-called crazy people of this world are, are very very smart you know i had an uncle he was an alcoholic he was the first conscious being that i met but he was an alcoholic sometimes those people that are so conscious they they take drugs you know people call them crazy you know they might drink or whatever to bring that that, that themselves down you know because sometimes you could get so high so caught up into one of these rabbit holes that you need to come down too some of them do have that's why I don't, that's why i don't talk about the food and stuff no more some of them need a burger <laughs> you know some of them already electrified in their body already they need some cheese they need bread they need something to get them to come a little down you gotta you gotta understand that in the totality of where people coming from everybody everybody don't have to walk the path that you think that they have to that's why i i, I talk about being a, a boundless being you know unlimitless in your thinking because for example there's there's sometimes even with me you know i eat really really clean but there's sometimes like oh let i need something i say this out loud you ask my children i say this man i want something gutter <laughs> I would say that because I'll get so high that you, you just want to come down like you know you want to be part of the human experience now take that in and understand that digest that as best as you can but there are people like that just because you maybe you're not there just yet just because maybe the steak and potato bring you down just that's why all is God that's why nothing is wrong with the steak and potato because it is necessary for those maybe that are too too high 
in, in their frequency that need some kind of substance to bring them down. Or it is even necessary for those that just don't have nothing at the time, you know, and think that that is all. It is also necessary for the person that believes that the steak and potato ain't doing them no harm because everything happens through thought. There's one person that can eat this, this thing and, and live to outlive the vegan person because all is thought and people think differently and people are vibing dip differently just because you see that person looking fat or whatever that don't mean that they're gonna you know die soon or they might outlive you you know so we gotta stop looking at the physical so much and bank on the spiritual where 99.999 percent of all of the energy is stemming from anyway it's not the physical it's not yeah yeah i love what you're saying just oh thank you big t becoming a top viewer i'm not sure what that mean but yeah <laughs> wow hey trey thank you for being here yeah good afternoon god it's facts yeah so yeah so we really we gotta be mindful of how how we think about different things because your thoughts just like even in the biblical text they say your thoughts are not my thoughts and my thoughts are not your thoughts and that goes for you me everybody so when you look at people that's why it's so good to just look at them through the eyes of god you know young people probably doing doing you know master manifestors in their own little way in their own little subject of their life and they're doing it well they're on the journey too so just bless them and let them be. Let everybody just be, you know? Let people be. It don't matter what they want to be. At any given moment, just be. Just be, you know? Because, you know, sometimes sometimes I'm working out. Sometimes I'm being silly. Sometimes I'm being a nerd. Sometimes I'm being the holistic person. Sometimes I'm a consultant. Sometimes I'm a mom. We just, just be. Sometimes I'm a gardener. Sometimes I'm feeding hummingbirds. You know, sometimes I'm meditating, sometimes I'm dancing, you know, sometimes I want to dress like corporate America, sometimes I want to have my workout clothes on when I'm working out, sometimes I want to be a bum, like yesterday I didn't even put on the clothes, I didn't even, I just was just bumming out, I didn't even put on lotion yesterday, because <laughs> I just wanted to be, And but, but does that mean just because I wasn't what another person wanted me to be at that time, does that mean I wasn't being God? No, I'm still connected, I'm still part of Source. Even if I wanted to be um, a transvestite, if I wanted to be, you know, whatever, I'm still connected to source. And that's why we really got to get away from judging people. Just, just, just be. Let people be because they have an experience. God wants to experience all frequency. Yeah, no lotion. I was so ashy yesterday <laughs> because they got, they got this dry heat out here and then there's water out here. Oh, it just take all your little you know lubrication your little oils your natural oils man i was walking around with no lotion and i was just looking just as cracky as can be but guess what i just wanted to be and it wasn't ain't, ain't nothing wrong with that i'll make lotion matter of fact i was making lotion but i ain't putting that on my legs <laughs> i just wanted to be and that's okay let people be <laughs> yeah that's funny yeah hey brown sugar thank you for being here babe what are your thoughts on scripting to manifest? I don't understand it. Well, I say, and always looking as a queen. Oh, thank you, babe. I appreciate you. Well, I uh, I think I did a video on a 369 method, like writing things down. I have my um, my book, my manifestation book that I write things down in. My thoughts is that, yeah, that actually I, I wrote down living in Arizona in that book. It's one of my um, older videos and it went viral too. I wrote down retirement in that book now that I'm thinking about it. I did and I just did early retirement. I wrote down um, moving to Arizona and I wrote down one more other thing that I won't say out loud but yeah and then it came forward in physical form. I think it's beautiful. I think it's powerful. I think that when we're scripting or writing we are casting spells we are spelling and the spells that we're casting not only are we writing it down energetically but we're thinking about it as long as when you're writing it down you are thinking about it as if you're in that state of right now you're writing it down in the state of i am because i was writing down i am and then i wrote down past tense you know like not i wish i will be not I'm gonna be, 
not tomorrow it's going to be nice when I know it's I am or past. You want to be in the present or you want to jump to the future and bring it to the present. Those are the only two tents when you were scripting anything down that I would recommend doing and I would recommend thinking about that thing right now. Like if I'm writing down because I'm about to go give me something to eat. I don't know what though. But I, if I was manifesting food, I am eating. And in my mind, I'm thinking, oh, it feels so delicious to bite into this healthy meal. Oh, I didn't eat anything since yesterday. My body is getting the nourishment that it desired. Oh, this ice cold beverage just feels so... I don't know, electrified, it feels so moist or whatever, going down my throat, whatever. So in your mind, you're thinking that kind of thought while you're writing it down because you want to have your thoughts and your emotions, your electric plus your magnetic form of energy working for you. You feeling good eating it and feeling satisfied. You're feeling, you need that. That's the most important thing because that's the, the heart is the most powerful form of energy that it is. So you need to feel the thing. You gotta have your feelings, so that means you gotta be touching it, oh, tasting it, oh, it's so delicious. Smelling it, oh, it smells so good. You see what I'm saying? That's gonna make the smoke work. So you write it down, you think like that, it's yours. It's yours, guaranteed. That's your superpowers, guaranteed. But you can't be going back saying, oh, I wonder if I didn't write it enough times. Oh, I wonder if, oh, I wonder if somebody looked at it and now it's, you know, it's not effective no more. Oh, I wonder if I got the right pen. No, it don't matter the pen. It don't even matter that you writing it down. All that matters is that you got your electromagnetic form of energy. That's it. And then you grow from that. And then, you know what? You get to a point where you don't even need no paper. You don't need no pen. You just say, let there be. So that's just like being with the training wheels per se. And I'm not saying nothing wrong with it, but just like kind of like people go and, and get the crystals and all that when we are the most powerful crystal we'll ever own, right? You go get the crystal. You might go get herbs. You might go get um, the, the book to write down manifestation. You might go get, what else they get? I don't know, the Bible. You might go get Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. You might go get Jesus. You might go get Thoth. But baby, you God, one day we all gonna realize that we've been doing this thing through thought by ourselves, and we ain't need to go get nothing. We ain't need to go get the doctor. We ain't go need to go get the mama. We ain't need to go get nothing but get our mind right. <laughs> That's the way we gotta get right. When you get that right, it don't matter nothing else. It don't. Oh, they go get the ancestors. They go get the altar, right? Oh, is my altar right? Oh, I wonder if the goddess of Shun heard me. I wonder if I invoke that energy right. Oh, I, do, do I, what I do? I got to get the water and the rock and I have to have all of the elements. And I have No, you got to have your mind right. That's it. I promise you. I wouldn't lie to you. I've been through all of those things. You just got to have your mind right. Once you do that right, you're right. Okay, nothing will separate you from anything you want when your mind is right. But go and, and get your do the scripting because because God wants to experience Himself. I'm not trying to discourage you from going through that state of being because God wants to experience all. Go do it because it's all just you reminding yourself or remembering to yourself. Oh, wait, I could do this. I could do this. I could do everything. I am all. I'm all there is. That's all. That's all about. So do it all. Have fun with it all. Master it all because that's what we're here for. To remember that we master manifestors. Yeah. Yeah, let's see. Ooh, them comments just be jumping, jumping. Okay, thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. Where are you located? Hey, is that an eye up in there? Daijia? Daya? Dai. I don't know how to say that. I'm in Arizona. <laughs> I see Tate at the end of that. I'd say that part. I'm in Arizona. Let's see. Thank you. You're welcome. Hey, Ben. So very much about us just being. Yeah, it is. It is. Yeah, it really is. Those are simply tools that help build our beliefs and focus. Yeah, it really is. Hey, Jessica. Thank you for being here, babe. It really is. It's just tools. No matter what 
anybody else tell you, I promise you it's just tools. Just like the trees, even when we're grounding ourselves, just like when we're hugging trees and stuff, right? <laughs> yeah. The tree connected, but you connected too. The tree is conscious, but guess what? <laughs> you conscious too. You know? The herbs that we eat. We it, it it's, it's, it's designed as a tool to make us think, you know, that it's increasing our frequency, the herbs and all, to get us in another state of being. But we're supposed to have dominion over all things, right? We're God in human form. <laughs> yeah. But they are not a necessity when we realize that we are God. You're right about it. It's not. That's when you, you throw them things away after you get your juices back, after you get your all-knowing back. You know, in the biblical text, it said, when I was a child, I spoke as a child, I thought like a child, behaved like a child. But when I became, I put away those childish things. Not to say that that's a childish thing, but I'm just saying the thought behind us needing something outside of us. We we end up in a journey. We could put it all, all away and just, just rest and knowing, yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm God. I just, I just, I just need to think that up. Yeah, I just, I just need to let my mind, you know, stop wobbling because a double-minded person is unstable in all of his ways. Don't, don't, don't expect to receive nothing from God. That's what the biblical text say. When you're double-minded, just, just get your mind right. Just get your mind right. Whatever you want, get your mind right. That's it. Just get your mind right. Yeah. Let's see. And be patient and watch the magic happen. Yep. Because you're patiently waiting on you <laughs> to get your mind right. Because that's when divine timing happens. When you get your mind right and you ride that momentum of that thought of knowing and letting no thing separate you from what you know. Letting no doubt in Thomas, no unwavering thought, no nothing. Me doing it wrong, me not being good enough, me not being vegan enough, me not being black enough, me not being, I don't know, long-haired or woolly-haired enough, me not being what? I don't know, I don't have, maybe people that don't have like the tonsils, well maybe I'm not, you know, in line because I don't have a tonsil. Nothing shall separate you when you're mine, right? You got a mind. You got that. We all got that because guess what? When we brain dead, we dead. We wouldn't be here. Y'all wouldn't be here listening to me. When you brain dead, you done. You got a mind. You got a heart. <laughs> so you got everything you need to get whatever it is that you're wanting. Your electromagnetic form of energy. That's all you need. You don't need to have no, you don't need to have no legs for this. You don't have to have no arm. You could be burnt for this. You could you you could do be retarded. But as long as you all here and could think and could express love you got what you need you got what you need hmm. yeah yeah you really do hey miss hey 504 steady hey kilo oh so people coming in y'all nobody could see my um stuff on my page I, that's why i came on because nobody didn't see none of my posts on my page and somebody was asking if i had a second page with a number two behind it like so many people was asking me that and because somebody uh, that's, you know, pretending to be me is sending out messages and stuff to people. And I was just doing a couple of videos saying, y'all don't, don't give nobody y'all money now. Because I don't be asking y'all for no money now. I don't do that. <laughs> so be, use discernment if somebody out there and help me report that other page, you know, so they could maybe stop. I reported it once, but I ain't fooling with it no more. I'm going to just count it all being, you know, done and taken care of. But as for you, reflection, don't, don't give it. I don't ask people for money and I ain't no sneaky link and I ain't coming telling you, you know, I'm your wife and all of that stuff and DM, I don't do all that. I only DM like a good five people when I come on here. So go live and that'd be the five ones that be, you know, on the, um, on the screen that I could easily click that I kind of like always share my live with. After that, I don't do no DMs. So somebody that look like me DMing y'all, y'all better tell them to go ahead, block them. Cause I don't do that. Y'all know I'm an introvert. I don't do that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Let's see. Matter of fact, I I only talk to two people today, and it's what two o'clock. I don't be doing all of that and talking. <laughs> I'm so serious. Uh, let's see. 
So, do you not believe in Jesus being God in the flesh? Yeah, of course I do. You are. I am. Yeah, I believe. I believe in Jesus, of course. You're the Christ conscious one and so am I. Rising from the dead. That's all we're doing. All of us. Jesus is everywhere. Peace and love. That focus TikTok was fire. Oh, focus. Focus, focus. Oh, when I was talking about my guru, maybe? The one I was uh, talking about, yeah, with my guru, talking about um, when your inner being is calling you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, I, Irita. Thank you. Thank you for the follow, too, man. Oh. I love trees, and people forget that they're living beings. Yes, they are. Yes, they are. Their consciousness. When I was in college, I used to go sit and do my studies out in, you know, in the courtyard by this one particular tree. And I was going through some things at that time. And I didn't realize that um, I had been going to the same tree because I felt comfortable at the same tree, right? And, you know, I would cry. I would, you know, about personal stuff. I would be, you know, stressing about tests. You know maybe overwhelmed or even when i was having a good day the tree i was just talking out loud like to myself and i turned around one day and said to the tree jokingly because i wasn't conscious then i said to the tree jokingly man you just know all my business right and it was like this big energetic pulse that I felt after I said that and it was almost like I was alone in the wilderness like in the flash like through thought right and and it was just me and a bunch of trees but that tree just became like so powerful and big like in my mental and it felt like it happened in real life like right man I got my dad gone blanket up I, and I ran up out of there <laughs> Because I didn't know what was going on. And so from that moment on, I knew that there was a connection, that there was consciousness in that tree. Because it was almost like in that flash of a moment, the tree was like, yes, we all do. While I was in the wilderness. Like, and it was all like they were all alive is what I'm saying. Trip my head out. I never told nobody that story before. There's only 16 people. Don't be telling, don't y'all tell nobody else yet. <laughs> That's gonna be our secret. Okay. But yeah, the Bible is childish things itself. <laughs> I hear you, Dion. I hear you. Thank you for being here. Yeah. Yeah. But um let's see. I must have been a victim because I thought I was talking to you in the DM. Oh bless your heart, babe. <laughs> He said he must have been victim. <laughs> what? No, the clip from the movie goes. The clip from the movie goes. Oh, okay, okay. Now I know which one you're talking about. Yeah, yeah. And you know, I went back and I watched that movie too. When when I after I uh, do edit that video. Yeah, I watched that. I like that because you know sometimes when you go back being that we're all going through different stages or states of being when you go back and watch another a old movie or a old youtube channel or something like that you get a new meaning because now you're in a new state of being and i think that's pretty cool so i watched the whole movie all over again yeah let's say i'd love to be a regular hi ben a regular at what hello friend hey bet yeah <laughs> yeah so true they are alive yes they are everything is everything is energy frequency going back to if you understand the totality of the universe you can understand that everything is this car is the walls are you know this phone is it's all energy frequency and vibration is just attuned to another state of being it, it's moving there's a law of vibration saying that nothing rests nothing in this universe is at rest we put our eyes on it we think it's still we think it's a so-called solid but things are just either sped up or or slow down from our frequency and we think that it is not alive 
No, oh, yeah, it is. It is. It's alive. Everything is alive. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, being on your lives. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I love to be a regular to watch your lives. Oh, okay, Ben. I see what you're saying. Yeah, yeah. I don't I don't time up for a certain time. I just pop up here and there. Really I try to only pop up when I have um a word, you know, when I'm led to because I don't I don't you know, I don't need you really I don't really like much attention, you know. I I like to be, you know my little introverted self i like little small crowds like this here this is really cool you know more intimate settings and stuff so everybody have a chance to be able to you know express themselves and and i can see the comment versus you know when you, you ever seen some of them lives where it's like oh i can't keep up i can't keep up like you know i like to interact with the people when i do in a smaller setting let's see five oh four five oh four city I must have been a victim because I thought I was talking to you in the DM. I think I, I think I saw a video, uh, um, a, a DM from you though. You the one that said you, you, you my husband, or something like that. Somebody, a couple of people. Cut. I, I ain't been replying, but I still ain't asked you for the money. <laughs> even though you, I don't know if it was you, but even though them men were saying that they my husbands and stuff like that. But yeah, I, I saw, I saw something from you before. <laughs> I got it. It got to be against a couple of uh, physical uh, laws in this matrix for me to have so many husbands. <laughs> but that's just my energy, though. I, that's just my energy. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not nobody on here, wife. Not, on, not in the little virtual reality. Not out here. But thank you. <sighs> Let's see. I'm an introvert as well. Yeah. Yeah, important information, Barry. Yeah, yeah, and I, I I don't look at that as being a bad thing. You know, being introverted, I just really I, I say that, and I'm I'm not gonna stop saying that because it's where I met God. I'm really proud of that state of being because a lot of people need things outside of them, and if we could be more introvert, you know, even COVID being that we were more in an introverted state of being that we had the social distance pull away it showed you what was important and what was not and so that's where everything is everything is within so i believe that the universe in its totality and all of my reflections needed that reset to go in figure out what's important and what is not and that was a perfect moment to be still and realize that you're God. And a lot of people realize it because a lot of people in that still time, if they work from home, they realize, wait, hey, I have a passion of doing da 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 da. And now you gave me time. You gave me time, which is emit, E M I T. You gave me time to emit my energy towards something that really feels good to me and I'm gonna do that and they ended up emitting their energy with something else and grew and left maybe their job or whatever for me I think that that is a beautiful state of being to be in when you're introverted introverted because the universe is within and so when they told me go home and social distance say what Get, don't be around too many people I'm like, man, you ain't saying nothing. <laughs> Work from home every day? Man, okay, okay. Hey, you gonna pay me? Oh, okay, okay, I'm gonna go home then. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Any suggestions for guided meditation on YouTube? Ooh, do I have my other phone? Yeah, I think it's called Angel. Angel Contact on YouTube. Oh my god, this lady, I love her voice and she hooked me in and in, in I, this was my first one. Let me see, angel contact. This was my first one, you know, coming out of uh, religion. Yep, that's it. Coming out of religion and you know, if you believe in angels, you know, everybody could find a place of peace when you're talking about angels, when we're really just talking about angles of light. But anyway, but it looked like this here. Can you see that? It look like that when you see that click on that it's 32 minutes it's called angel contact slash light body activation plus crystal chakra that's what she have on there i don't know if you can see all of them words but 
my phone cracked but anyway that's my old phone but anyway that's a good one check that one check that one out i just put in on google angel contact meditation and it was the first thing that popped up but yeah oh my god the lady voice and the um the bows that she have you know that she's using the music the frequency yeah i think she have like a million people that don't watch this here thing i'm pretty sure she have a million views but yeah i like her so check her out you can't go wrong with angels <laughs> you can't go wrong with angels oh wait that's it plan i didn't mean to do that but um let's see that's beginner friendly yep yep beginner friendly and so she's if he uh, for a beginner that knows maybe about you know a crystal a clear crystal i think she mentions up in there so clear crystals if you know anything about clear quartz crystals they're supposed to clear energy right so outside of an angel that she talks about she talks about a clear quartz crystal as if you're resting there and you're you know recharging there she's pretty much going through the chakra colors of energy like right and then she gets to clear where you just cleared and you're at peace and you're in a harmonious state of being Woo! and she even talks about anchoring yourself too you know a cord of uh, light that's grounded and connected to the universe so she teaches about pr um, protecting yourself while you are meditating first and then she takes over and tells you to relax because now you're anchored into the universe meaning you're gonna come back back to this realm you're not gonna trip out and she gives you a good peaceful feeling you know because the angels are there to protect you and all of that good you know stuff that we need in the beginning when we're a little bit scared because we came from religion and he talked to us talked to us about the devil with the pitchfork and the boogeyman that was gonna get you if you if you don't do what they say yeah do you have to have one i don't have any have one or what have a meditation do you have to have one hmm. i don't remember one or what oh i've been taught against crystals oh okay you don't I have so much to learn no you don't have to have a crystal no you are the crystal no all you have to have is you all you have to have is your mind and your heart like i was telling you yeah no you don't have to no i have some but i don't have them in the beginning when i used to have some i um i was drawn to it because god wanted to experience itself god wants to know what that was all about right i was drawn to my first one which was the amethyst the purple one I was drawn to it. I loved it. I saw it on the main and on Canal Street downtown in New Orleans. And I asked him what it was, you know, where he got it from. He introduced me to a store that was coincidentally right around the corner on Charters called Earth Odyssey. I went there and I was like a frequent there after that because I fell in love with the energy of it. You know, you need those things when you at that state of being but when you evolve from that state of being you don't really need that no more now i did a video i did a video with this here i don't know if y'all remember this video on my page this one here this happened to be in my car because i just did the video and i went work out and i had to take it off my hand this citrine one you remember i did this here video but that was for an ad though that was an ad somebody sent me that for free and asked me to you know do a video so they could get you know people to purchase from them i like it i'm not saying anything against it but i'm just saying i don't wear them no more in my journey like talking about i've made peace with them they're in my house in a nice little spot just like the goddess of shul you know i've been through that with my altar and i made peace with the goddess of shun because i became it that's what this thing is about anything that you're looking outside for outside of yourself what the thing is is that you're supposed to become it so you you looking for the what the clear quartz to clear your energy where well, you become the person that know how to clear your own energy right you're looking for the amethyst which is supposed to be that royal priesthood the purple um stone that's supposed to tap you into your christ consciousness you know of course to stimulate your third eye well guess what you can stimulate your own team you know you can secrete your own dimethyltryptamine already outside of having that crystal you're looking for the goddess of shun why because the goddess of shun is the goddess of femininity of fertility of love of beauty well guess what you become you become the feminine beautiful you know <laughs> you know goddess within that's that's it as within so without so you 
get those in you conjure up that energy from maybe those things and you become it and then you don't need that thing no more like right even we even with jesus per se you're the christ conscious one when you rise from the dead <laughs> when you rise that from the dead then then you walk in your bible when you become conscious you are the one the o-n-e you are the neo <laughs> the o-n-e so yeah at least that that's just how i look at it that's my burst on amethyst oh that's beautiful that's beautiful i love amethyst that was my favorite amethyst was my first one too yeah yeah i love amethyst i love my rose quartz i love the clear quartz i love 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 my new mic new mic was really 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 powerful but even with my new mic i don't carry it with me on my neck like i used to no more but like i say it's in that special place because energetically i believe in it but energetically i believe in myself too greater work shall you do yeah greater work shall you do so just remember that in your journey remember that always in your journey that it's not about those things outside of you it's not about nothing outside of you because you are everything you're all that exists <laughs> it can't be outside at least it's inside even even with like you know the goals if you remember back in the in school when we were uh when we were introduced to the periodic uh table of elements all of that th that's you that's you laid out in front of you you experiencing yourself we have all of that inside of us already you know so i just you know i, I respect you know us finding or remembering ourselves in human form but don't for, don't forget who 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 on the throne though and that's you yeah oh really black tourmaline was my first one hey big old bad <laughs> you just got it how does it make you feel just get first getting because i know when i first got amethyst oh my god i fell in love with it because i took it home well i carried it with me i was actually on a date I was on a date. I saw this man on Canal Street with one around his neck and his was rather big. And it drew me to him to ask him, you know, what was it and stuff. And he told me about it. I was like, oh, I want one of those. And this was the first date that I was on. And I had some high shoes, high heel shoes on. I, I'm like stiletto type shoes. But I walked around that corner because he said it wasn't, you know, too far. I walked. I asked my date, could we please go? And he's like, yeah, yeah. And he came with me. And, um... <laughs> And we got to that store and I asked them for the, you know, the amethyst. And my day bought me to the uh, amethyst, um, to rock, you know, the crystal itself, some earrings, a necklace, a ring, everything. Because I wanted everything. Because in my mind, I knew it was energetically drawing me to it. My day didn't understand it. I'm new on the journey, but I'm like, look, I'm going to get all of it. Man, I got that thing. I went home and I put it underneath my pillow. To, you know just uh, not even knowing nothing not nothing about nothing right and i put it underneath my pillow and i had the best dream the most peaceful restful night that i ever had in my life so much so that i woke up and i told everybody in the house come on we gotta go to the store we gotta go to the store everybody gotta get a crystal y'all gotta get one of these because something is in this thing and i didn't understand it but that's what took me down a little crystal journey and then i learned about you know it was the, you know christ conscious you know third eye stimulant and it's a healer and it's an energetic you know rich stone and all this and that and i'm like oh okay and it worked because it worked for me <laughs> It makes me feel protected see and so when you start saying things like that so it makes me feel protected you are spilling you're casting that spell up on it like you're saying what it's doing for you so that's your belief you know your thought a belief is just something that you thought up over and over so you keep thinking that over and over and that's it that's law for you in your subconscious mind and bam nobody can tell you that it ain't protecting you nobody can tell you that because nobody can't tell me that it didn't give me the best most peaceful night everybody gonna have their own experiences based upon their level of thinking you could read about it all you want as being like a healer or being whatever this and, that and the third that any stone could be for you but if you don't believe it it ain't gonna work <laughs> that's how powerful our thoughts are yeah you got two. I take one everywhere. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I got two. Okay, I see. 
I need one of them. You need one of them too now. Why you need one now? Do you need to be protected from what? You don't need to be protected on this here live. You good. <laughs> you good. Yes, see, I had a few different stones years ago. I put them in the same little bunch and they keep popping. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, I keep them um I keep them in this crystal bowl that I have or next to it on my um my new mic is actually sitting on like a um I don't know, like a stand or whatever like right but i keep them i keep them together and it, and I, every time i look at them or maybe even play with them or hold it or whatever you know i i think about my journey of where i was when i first purchased it and the energy that i felt at that first time because it's it's that first experience that's really the one that sends you you know the first experience with the amethyst the first experience with rose quartz you know the first experience with new mike i remember my first experience with new mike i was sitting in this here car actually and new mike just had me going down a rabbit hole i got a piece of paper and that was during the time when i was writing in my manifestation book i just got i got a piece of paper in the book and i just started writing everything that i was happy for I am love. It was just so beautiful. I'm love. I'm beauty. I'm happy for my life. I I love this. I love that. And da 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 da. And I went just. It was like almost like my hand had just got taken over. I just started writing. It sent me back to the core of why I felt so many different feelings, you know, because that's an ancient stone, like, right? So in my mind, because I believed it was an ancient stone that had been around for billions of years, in my mind, I believed that, and that's what it did for me. Now, if I would have been a Dalton Thomas, <laughs> it probably wouldn't have took me down that rabbit hole so we gotta you gotta be mindful of your thoughts if you if you believe it it's gonna work for you if you doubt it then well it's just like those people that go to the doctor and they um they don't believe the medicine that the doctor give them well it ain't gonna work but you believe the doctor is giving you the good stuff oh yeah well then it's gonna work so shall it be yeah yeah no i need an amethyst oh okay yeah yeah i think it's beautiful to have beautiful to own. it scared me what does that mean no you scared you that's what that means <laughs> you had an habitual thought in that subconscious mind that something would scare it for you and it, so you gotta you gotta ask yourself why not me you gotta ask yourself why why did i get scared hmm i like the stone but why did it scare me but why? And something gonna pop up in that mind. That doubt gonna pop in that mind. And like for me, if it was me on my first stone and I was to ask myself at that time, if I would have got scared, it would have probably been stemming from religion, the limited beliefs up in there. Cause that's where I came from. I don't know where you come from, but that's where I did. And so I would have been like, well, why am I scared? Well, cause um, this kind of might, seem weird to some people but why well because you know my family and some of my members in my family think that this is kind of hoodoo voodoo kind of stuff but why i don't know because they don't understand who do and who do itself i don't know what they get why they're getting this from but why well maybe they got this from church because church teaches that and the pastor don't want us to do nothing but whatever is in the bible but why i don't know because they're stemming in them limited beliefs but why i don't know maybe they're scared of them own their own selves <laughs> you know, I, that's what I do to figure out what the hell going on with my thoughts. That's what I do with everything because your subconscious mind is something up to the infinite intelligence. God never asks yourself a question that he or she don't already know the answer to. So you're just asking your subconscious mind why, and it's going to go fetch in the boundless universe why you feeling that way. It's going to send you a, a picture or a feeling to answer your why, and that go your why. And then when you find out what your why is, you clear that why, and you rewrite a new belief and be like, well, that ain't going to happen to me. Well, I don't believe in that 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 stuff no more you know i changed my beliefs this is my new belief this crystal is connected to me and this crystal is only going to bring me good it's only going to bring me good fortune it's going to make me feel good every time i look upon it every time i touch it and so shall it be and every time you see it you say oh this does my good feel, uh feel the crystal it's protecting me yep that crystal right there is my protector yep 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 and you keep on saying it over and over and guess what you got a new belief and that old stuff gone and you just reprogram your subconscious mind <laughs> that's how it worked that's how it worked yeah hey Gabriel 
let's see i definitely don't doubt it but i don't fully understand it yeah so that lack of knowledge that uncertainty why not maybe research more about it research more about it you know uh research um how that um how our body is made of um those crystals you know the um the uh, silica that's inside of the crystals like so find a connection there with the silica that's inside of the crystal maybe and silica on the periodic table uh, uh charts of elements is the cousin of carbon and so you're a carbonated being and so okay this is a cousin of carbon so okay maybe i'm drawn to it because of that because i have some of this here inside of me as within so without and okay so my carbon per se my melanin per se is a healer so this we're doing research right we're going in the subconscious mind or in google wherever you want to go to do some research so okay so if i'm made of carbon slash melanin this thing here is like the cousin of carbon slash melanin then it gotta be healed just like my carbon and melanin when it's at its full potential or peak of energy it has enough power to heal others so oh okay i'm educating myself i'm understanding myself because guess what that's yourself that crystal that's yourself so now i'm understanding myself so i'm understanding what my melanin my carbon based structure really here to do is to be a healer not only to me but to other people around me oh so that's why my crystal doing this my crystal designed to heal people just like i am oh okay the crystal and i are best friends see love is understanding so get the understanding of what the crystal's really designed to do you understand that crystal you're going to understand yourself <laughs> so yeah go down that rabbit hole get to know thyself god because that's all we do with everything outside of us we get in to know ourselves yeah getting to know you yeah Let's see, I always enjoy running into your page. Oh, thank you, big old bad. I definitely don't doubt, okay, hello. How do you spell it? Which one were we talking about? The, um, we talking about the amethyst? A-M-E-T-H-E-S-T, -E -E I think? Yeah, Google it, it'll spell check for you. You should have made a video, should have made a video of that, of what the, um, the crystals i have a couple of um, videos on my youtube channel about uh, crystals i did one about the uh, new mic when i first got it and i was really excited i was sitting in my car and i had a green shirt on and um i did one about that one encouraged people to get one because it was really powerful oh about uh silica oh silica yeah 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 that's it that's it look into that research that that's a good place to start babe and with this that's it i think it's yeah I think that's correct. Yeah. Silica. S I L I C I A. I think it's C I A. Put you close to it. Yeah. Just um put it in Google and it'll it'll spell check for you. Yeah. So research things like that and, and you it's gonna just lead you right back to you and your your power. Yeah 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 i believe so let me do let me do it silicone let's see yep yep you got it yep you got it babe you got it you got it right so now you got the name of it so research search that and and put you know maybe silica found in crystals and you know put in crystals are made of yeah do stuff like that and then when you see what it's made of and you correlate how you have some of that stuff inside of you and you just researching yourself <laughs> Yeah, how the carbon in your body is the same as crystals. Well, we're carbon, we're carbon based. That's what they talk about when um, when they say you know melanin, you know. So carbon, being carbon based, you know, carbon is the healer. And so I'm, I'm just saying that the crystals that have silica and that and some of them are actually uh, 
are carbon based. They have, what do they call that one? That black one. Shungite. Shungite, you know. And so these things are healers. This is just us all over again, you know. And they say it's from, you know, spacecrafts or whatever, blah, blah, blah. But okay, so but we have carbon. We all have carbon inside of us. Our carbon footprint, our melanin, our life force, our healer, healing abilities. All of that stems from carbon, you know. So make a video of it. Oh, my gosh. Make a video of that one, too. <laughs> Yes, please make a video. Oh, lot now you got somebody out there agreeing with your big T. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna have to. Um, I'm gonna have to do that when I get when I get a moment. When I get a moment, I am trying to build up my um my website right now. But I will. I will when I do my next uh, long YouTube. I'm gonna talk about all of that because yeah, yeah. I I thought. You know, because sometimes you just think, oh, everybody just know that. Or you, and with me, to be honest with you, with me, it'd be like, oh, you know, I just be wanting to have, let God have their little experience going down the rabbit hole, you know, to explore itself. But yeah, I guess an experience could be me talking about it to take you on another experience of you. I want to explore what I'm talking about too. <laughs> so yeah, when I get a moment, I'll, I'll do that. I'll talk about it, but it's just you. So back to what I was saying, all of this is you experiencing yourself. Whether we talking about the tree, you know, that's just, that's you too, being still and knowing that you're God. Cause he, so your tree really teaches you that, um, yeah, I have a YouTube channel. It's up in my, um, my bio, click on my picture and um, that black triangle at the top will take you directly to my YouTube channel. So back to like the tree being you too. So the tree is you standing still. The tree is you being in perfect alignment with source energy or God or whatever, right? Because the tree is a uh, conscious. And so all it has to do is just be. It's you in a harmonious state of being. Oh y'all, I've been working out my muscles. I can see the little definition when I did like that. Boy, she getting ready, ready, ready. Okay. Anyway, sorry about that. <laughs> so a tree is you standing still, being still and knowing that you're God, like, right? And so a tree cries out to the universe, so to speak, you know? It asks and it receives. It cries out when it wants water, right? It cries out when it wants rest and to go into hibernation, right? The tree is asking and it is receiving and all it has to do is be still. Us, on the other hand, we, have little things you know that can make us wobble in our physical reality you know we have like jobs we have this so to speak stress or whatever or fatigue or whatever so we wobble a little bit but a, te a tree is us teaching us hey all you have to do is be still it ain't all about that doing that you're trying to do it's about being hey i'm gonna stand here and be still and show you that i'm god just like you are you know, the tree ain't talking and all of that. <laughs> tree just being. The tree ain't asking, oh, but why? But when it's gonna happen? When, well, come on, rain. Come on, rain. You know I want you. The tree is just being, being there, just surrendering, just just pointed up to toward the universe. I'm here. I'm here, being. And so it's a, it's a reflection of us. All things are. So the life force, the, the chlorophyll inside of it, the iron inside of us, it's just us in a different form, vibrating at a different frequency. But all of us, everything you ever look upon is going to be God. <laughs> I told you, got those God. Yeah, boy, I got some God, boy, boy. Look, I done broken fingernails and everything, trying to get these things. I got to go get my nails done. But yeah, but I've been working out a lot. I'm so proud of my body. Yeah, but yeah, check out the YouTube channel. They, um, I talk about, I've been doing this here for, oh Lord, I just broke another darn nail. I just, I just, I've been doing this here for years. So they got a, uh, a, a video on, on that, on that, I'm pretty sure. Because I've been doing this and posting videos for years. Because this is really my passion to help people and leave something behind with my reflections along the way not just my reflections that um i don't know but even for my family you know 
my family when they read it, my children when they read it. So everything that I say really comes from my heart. I in all of my videos saying that this video is from my heart to yours because not only am I talking to people that I don't know, but I'm talking to my my sisters. I'm talking to my nieces. I'm talking to my nephews, you know, I'm talking to my children, you know, my partner, you know, whenever they're ready to get to this level, you know, of exploring themselves or you know, even if I'm not in the physical anymore, you know, when I when I cross to the non-physical, they'll have everything that I was thinking and doing at certain stages of being for me. And so I'm like leaving nuggets for them, you know, because I, you can't make people wake up before their time. All you really could do is inspire them. But if you try to force something on other people, you ain't gonna do nothing but piss them off or catch them when they still sleep and they don't even know what you're talking about so you end up wasting your voice so i come here and i i put my voice out here to people that want to hear that is their season to hear versus casting my pearls amongst the swine when they ain't ready and i understand when people are not ready and you look at people through the eyes of god and you remember that they're you too when you weren't ready because it wasn't a moment there was a moment in my life when i wasn't ready when people were trying to tell me certain things about you know life or food or spirituality and it went over my head just think about earth wind and fire think about erica badu they they've been singing those songs they've been conscious they've been aware think about um like Abraham Hicks, she'd been around for a long time. All of that stuff could not come to me, make sense to me till I was ready. Yeah, I heard Eric, um, Erica Badu and in, in, in Lauren Hill and in, 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 in Earth, Wind and Fire. I used to sing them songs. But when you ready, when you become conscious, you look back and be like, oh, that's what they meant. But when you still sleep, you don't know what the people are talking about. You have no idea. You just think it's just like a little cool song, you know? <laughs> you just take it like a cool song. Oh, she, oh, she, cool song. You don't know the meaning to that. Yeah. So, I heard some bad stuff about E, W, and F. You talk about electro um, waves and frequencies. What's your E, W, and F? You talking about the bad stuff? Listen to the good stuff, but tell me what your E, W, and F is. Cause I'm thinking electro wave, electromagnetic waves and frequencies. I'm not sure if that's what you're thinking. Oh, 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 I went deep and you went. <laughs> yeah, I forgot I was talking about them. Um, I, I didn't hear no bad stuff about them. Yeah, I, I wouldn't listen. I got what the nuggets that I needed and I spit out the other stuff. I don't, just like Bill Cosby, like deal, whatever. Like, I don't, he was my daddy. A father figure in my life when I was a little girl. I admired the family. I'm talking about from just knowing him from the Cosby show, like right? So anything outside of that, I don't hear. I don't care. Because guess what? I got what I needed. I got the good. And I spit out the bad. And that's what we gotta do with spirituality. That's what we gotta do with, with conscious leaders, with religion, with, with life, because we wanna attract more of that. So mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I love I will crack laughing at him when he talk about the little pudding pop or whatever and how he talked to you know Olivia and all the other ones on the show and that's it that's all I, I want to know about him I don't want to know none of that bad I don't want to know none of Michael Jackson bad I don't want to know nobody bad I want to see them true eyes of God and remember them for the impression that the good impression that they made upon my life and I'm gonna roll with that and that's it and even for you Hilo I see you as a supporter. I see you as somebody on a journey. I don't. I don't want to know none of your bad. Now I'll consult with you about your bad. We'll talk about it, and I'll, I'll share with you based upon my experiences of how to get back in alignment with yourself. But at the same time, I'm always look at you as a supporter and see you through the eyes of God. You got to do that with everybody, and then you get more of that from everybody. Yeah. Yes, because I'm not fully there. I'm learning. Well, we're all on the journey, and I'm still learning, too. You know, just think about all of the things that... Um, all of the things that... You don't know. You know, if we have... If we're living in this so-called boundless universe... So, I, I know what I know. But think about what is possible that I don't know. And if you could weigh it on a scale of the things that you, it's possible that you don't know is enough information to create another realm, another dimension, other worlds. 
that's how much we don't know. So that means everybody in physical form here is still learning. Because <laughs> there's so much we don't know. And so we always are going to be a student. Now, they might have some students in the classroom that raise their hand every damn time because they've been home studying. They ain't go out and play. <laughs> they've been home studying. They really like this stuff. You know, they're a little geek, little nerd. And that might be somebody like a me. But guess what? I'm still in that class. <laughs> I'm still in that class. I'm still a student. So we all have that in common. We all learning. You know, that's it. And it's a beautiful thing. Michael was God for sure. Yeah. 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 I believe that. I love his energy. Nipsey Hussle. Michael Jackson. All of them. You just take the good. You take the good. And when people, even with me, you know, you do what you want to do with me. Like, even with me. When people tell y'all something about the people that you are following or whatever, you just go for the good. Like, Good example, y'all know I love Abraham Hicks. Abraham Hicks taught me about the law of attraction. It's a female, or a Caucasian female on YouTube, right? I, will, I read her comments and there was always somebody in the comment that would be like saying something negative in the midst of something so beautiful, like, and then there were people that would like, like the negative comment, that one negative comment, but why? Why can't you look at all this good this lady giving, you know? Why can't we focus on that? Because when we look at the good, you get more of the good. And this lady really helped me in my journey with the law of attraction. With thinking outside of my limited mindset. So you, 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 you saying she, a, she part of a cult? Like, what are you talking about? Maybe you still in the box. You know, it's what I was thinking about those comments, like, right? Maybe you're attracting your little tribe and all of the people that gave you the thumbs up or the people that I need to stay away from because I want more good and y'all over there want the bad to keep coming. Because when you understand that it is energy, frequency, and vibration, you know that you go, you're going to dwell on the bad. Oh, she got a cult. Oh, she must be da 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 da. Oh, she must be this here too. Then you're going to find all the crazy stuff. Just like the girlfriend that that's um, worried about her boyfriend cheating or whatever. She going looking. Oh, she going to find. Seek and you shall find. Knocking the door going to be open. Don't look that way if you don't want to see that. That's how I look at it. Not in a naive kind of way, in a universal way, knowing that guess what? Everything that I'm a magnet to gonna come to me. And I want good stuff to come to me. Yeah. I've recently seen a few videos on a YouTube channel. Earn your leisure. Super interesting stuff. Oh really? I have to look into that. I like learning. I'm gonna type that in so I could later on I could look at it earn your leisure yeah that sounds interesting it's a spiritual channel I say earn your leisure okay yeah the negativity is a distraction it really is it really is it really is it gets you off center from what you really you know wanting really desiring they think what we study is I've been told that chakras was the is that devil <laughs> chakras are organs chakras are mentioned in the bible but this is it in the book of revelations you know, they mentioned the seven, um, the seven uh, seals and all they talk about the chakra pools of energy the seven letters to the seven churches or whatever like that's all about you <laughs> that's all about us those are people that don't have uh, wisdom to discern and understand right and fools what they say in the biblical text fools um despise wisdom you know knowledge and instruction so let them be and that's that's beautiful ignorance can be blissful when you're there but then when you get out of that ignorance state of being or the lack of knowing you turn around and be like dang i was like wrong wow yeah so let them people because because everything in balance we gotta have people if we're gonna have people that believe we gotta have people that doubt if we're gonna have the so-called devil we gotta have the people that think that there's a difference between the so-called devil and the so-called god but it's really god all is god just vibrating at different frequencies so we're gonna have the two polarities all the time because the law of polarity says that there must be 
two sides. They must be male, they must be female. So just let them, you know, let them be. They got to be over there. So the scale could be balanced, so to speak, right? The scale of life, because this universe is in perfect balance and order. It reads, because that's God is not the, God, God is the, um, not the author of uh, confusion, so to speak, it says in the biblical text, right? It's a God of order, right? So there's going to be order and instruction and, and everything is going to be perfectly orchestrated in this universe. This is, it's everything perfect. It's just that places like um, TV shows or news articles or newspapers will show you one side of it. They'll show you the obituary is supposed to show you the death side of it. <laughs> you know? The news is supposed to show you the shitty story side of it. But if you step back and look at the big picture, the totality of this universe, everything is in perfect alignment. Everything is. Yeah. 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 Yeah, Kilo. Yeah, you know that. Not quite sure if it's a spiritual channel, but look for a video called The Food Matrix. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. I am. I got down in my other phone. They talk about more than food. Okay, good. Good. I'm going to check it out. They don't be letting me be telling me they'll pray for me that I'll find Jesus. You know what? I leave the people alone. That's what I'll do. Whoever them day people are. And that, that could be in my family because I sure took a break from my family. I'm not... I don't really care if to be judged by that <laughs> and i'm not trying to be a smart aleck but yeah i sure took a break from the ace they know i took a break from them because i in my journey this was years ago though in my journey you know my my family all my family you know was in religion and stuff and was telling me i need to pray and looking at me like i'm a backslider like stuff you know like you got to get out of here because in my mind i ain't know what was going on just yet so i had to figure me out I had to figure me out but I stood uh, strong in my belief of knowing that something different something amazing was happening to me and I stood firm in my belief and I I walked away from them for a season I walked away from everybody for a season until I got me right until I got me in my mind right because that's the most important thing in your journey you know and so I just started talking to them because you're not gonna be every time I see you you ain't gonna be telling me that I need Jesus you ain't gonna be sitting up here telling me what I need. Well, no, no, no. I don't need that right now. That's what I knew I needed. And so I walked away until I was solid in my state of being. Right? And so then you gain respect from them too. Because then you, in that absence, you give them a chance to see that they the ones really <laughs> had, had you being drove away, so to speak. Because they judged you so much, right? They judged you, right? But at the same time, to flip the dynamic of that that's you that's you when you were in that judgment state of being so you're experiencing yourself really you're experiencing how you used to judge others right judge you know judge not at least you be judged so it's a reflection of what's inside of you so that moment away when you stop judging them when you release all the resistance and you just stay away that's when the resistance falls down you get in a harmonious state of being with yourself they start to um they start to respond to now your new thoughts because now you're magnetically drawing them to want to be around you saying oh my gosh maybe maybe i was too hard on her maybe i should just let her be oh my gosh just just as long as she do what feels good to her and then now magnetically they're wanting to see you and now is your season to come back you know sometimes you got to separate yourself in order to let that magnetic force draw, draw you back to those people right and clear your mind and your energy from judging other people and then y'all could be good and then 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 you could stay focused on the fact that it's your thoughts that's running the show so now you're looking at them through the eyes of god now which really happens in the tail end hindsight is 2020 you don't understand this until afterward right because i didn't even understand it at that time so then you look back at your journey you realize that that was me that was me thinking that they was going to judge me. That was me based upon my my religious upbringing of what was embedded in me that made me think of them like that. So now that I change my thoughts about how they're perceiving me or what I think that they're thinking, now that since I've changed that, now they're not thinking that no more. Now since I've changed that, now everybody in my family 
calling me, you know, asking me for spirit of guidance. Now they're on the journey now, you know, because I changed that. I let this mind be in me. And so as within, so without. And so they're a reflection of me. So I got to, you know, be accountable for that being me too. But while I was in it, I was like, no, they're doing this stuff to me and they're judging me and they, and I'm going to separate myself from them, you know? So you look at both sides of it, the part that you play too, not just the part that they're playing because you're the God in your universe. Yeah. So let's see. It's my family. It, it always is. Yeah. 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 But my mama asked me the other day, she was like, because somebody, I told her, I was like, you know, before I moved to come out here, I manifested moving out here. And so this this lady who we used to go to church with, I hadn't seen her in years. And I called her because she was like, really, really, you know, special to me in my journey, you know. She was like my favorite lady in the church, like, right. And so I was leaving that state and I called her to tell her that I was by, that I was leaving and to tell her goodbye. And I was telling my mom, I was like, she came over to the house and she prayed with me. And I told my mom, I was like, that felt so good. That felt so special. And my mom was like, wait, hold up. You accept prayers from people? <laughs> you know, because she's like, I didn't want to pray with you, but you know, I didn't know how you felt about that. And I was like, yeah, I'll, I'll pray, you know, wherever you are on your journey. I don't care about you praying for me in Jesus name or whatever. Like, you know, I know how to interpret that. But my mom was like, I didn't know you, you, you know, I thought you was, you know, pushing the Jesus thing away automatically. I was like, yeah, but I know what it is. So she was shocked that I just let somebody hold my hand and pray for me. You know, she was, she was just shocked about that. But yeah, everybody on the journey, it don't matter. I just, I just receive it as um being love now, you know, it's just love. It's just the level of consciousness where she is. So I accepted it at that time and it felt good. It really felt good. Cause it had me go down the rabbit hole saying dang i remember when i used to pray because i used to like in church i used to be like the little prayer warrior like right and so you just look back and you count it all joy man you count it all joy yeah yeah they don't understand but you know it's not for you to make them understand though you know it's not you just be accountable for you yeah you be accountable for you i thought about that too but i think whatever happened to their child is why I got the speech. Okay, okay. Hey, Queen. Hey, Nubian Goddess. I'm late, but glad I caught your live. Yeah, I'm glad you're here too, Nubian. We talk about all kinds of stuff. Trees, grounding, parents, Jesus. You know you're Jesus, I Nubian. With a name like that, you know you know you the Christ conscious one, right? <laughs> Let's see. She went down a rabbit hole of spirituality way too far. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, some people do, but hey, it is what it is. Let people go far, because you know what? One thing about going far, too. Let me tell you about this here, because I've been to other realms. Like, going far out allows you to see and experience things far out, but you got to come back. You got to come back. And when you come back, you have a new mindset when you come back, because that's what this is all about. Like, we breathe in and we breathe out. We blink our eyes, you know, we open and close our eyes our heart is beating it's all that's all it's life and death in and out up and down is the pendulum swimming swinging no matter how you look at it the seasons you know and it's all god it's all god so count it all joy and then don't get hung up on one point in your life or your journey explore everything man and don't let nobody don't you judge nobody therefore nobody outside of there will be judging you you know make sure you handle your judgment within because that's really re the core of it where it stems from we could say the days of the world but it really be us it really be us all of it is us nothing can ex not exist at least it be part of us right she didn't come back she thought the people were putting spells on her and so shall it be it, you know so shall it be yeah if you believe in that kind of thing so shall it be but if you if you implant just like when i did that type of work you know the so-called spells you could cast a spell mentally by saying a doing a return to sender kind of spell like right if you into that kind of spell stuff you know and that's a journey too that's a part of you evolving and, and realizing that you ain't even gotta do that whatever you think is law 
but you can cast a spell, so to speak, saying, return that thing to Cinder. Now I'm free. I go free. <laughs> free yourself. Because it's really you freeing yourself from that mindset. You freeing yourself from that way of thinking that that spell or something outside of you has enough force or enough energy to penetrate inside of you and make you conform to it. No. It shouldn't be, it shouldn't be that powerful. Nothing in the physical reality should be that. Not when you walk in example of God. Not when you God's life, God's breath. <laughs> in him I move, I live, and I have my being. Your being is God's being. And you're going to let somebody else in physical form have you being something other than God? Mm -mm. That shouldn't be like that. That shouldn't be like that. Let's see. Been on my journey for six months now. Oh, okay, Nubian. Okay, that's pretty cool. Hey, Anna. Hey, Anna. Thank you for being here. That's my cousin, y'all. My real cousin in physical. In the physical, Deanna. Thank you, babe. Let's see. Let's see. That's that. I told her, if you think you're going crazy, you will. And she did. Yeah, as a man think it, so is he. Point blank period. As a man think it, so is he. Whatever you think. That's why they have people that in the physical reality, the doctor tell them that they about to die. They pick up that thought, so is he. But then you'll hear them stories that people, that the doctor told them that they was going to die. And they said, no, I'm not. And guess what? They didn't. Because as a man think it, so is he. Now, though some of them people allow that doctor's thought to penetrate. So you see what I'm saying? So if you pick up that thought and you allow that thing to penetrate, and what I mean by penetrate is to get inside of you and it start reproducing other thoughts like that thought, and then you start creating from it and it becomes a solid belief of yours, so shall it be. Because as a man thinks, so is he. Yeah. Yeah. Rebuke it. Definitely. Definitely. You rebuke it. And, and, and so spirituality is going in hand in hand with the religious. We learned that in religion to rebuke and bind. Whatever I bind in heaven shall be bound on earth. Whatever I loose in heaven shall be loose on earth. It's the same concept. You just denying it life force in the spiritual realm, right? So, so they were casting spells per se in religion. If you really think about it, if you look at the book of Psalms and the book of Proverbs, ain't nothing but spell being casted over there. So you cast spells by binding it, by releasing it, by returning it, by, by draining it maybe of its life force of thinking of it or giving it attention. That could be your spell or you loosen it in the spiritual realm. It's all God though. At the end of the day, it's all God. Hey Trinity, thank you for being here, babe. Facts, yeah. Yeah, greetings beautiful people. Hey Angela. Thank you, thank you, thank you for being here. Yeah, hey, Lady Fox. But yeah, it, it's really so. So we, so that's why I don't really subscribe to any type of religion. And just like how my mom was like, "Oh, you let somebody talk, um, you know, pray for you in Jesus' name." Yeah, but I don't subscribe to any type of religion because if we, the religious people, sit themselves down and pay attention to the spiritual people, and the spiritual people pay attention to the little voodoo workers or witchcrafters or conjurers of energy or light workers or whatever we got, the chosen one, all these stupid names, the seven day of business, the Hebrew Israelites. If we all come together and take all of them crazy ass labels off of everything and break it down to its energetic structure, what it is, we all have one thing in common that we serve it, serving the same day gone God because there's only one God one faith one baptism and so we get in this little rut and, and this is just how I think we get in this little rut like oh no the the Jew, Jehovah Witnesses they're going to be the chosen ones and those are the only ones that's going to make it to heaven because they're the 144,000 when really the 144,000 has to do with the chakra pools of energy and the mathematical um 
some of them all. So when you at 144,000 within your mental, meaning if you have risen from the dead, if you have tapped into your Christ consciousness, you're the 144,000. Each, every, every last one of us in physical form has innate ability to tap into source energy this way and become the 144,000. But no, she can't make it because she is this religion. She can't make it because she wears skirts. She can't make it because she is backsided. She can't work, make it because she ain't got enough melanin. All of that crazy stuff, I don't subscribe to that. I don't. I believe all is God have no human experience. And if we all come together, we could put our knowledge together and remember ourselves and become that body of Christ again. But no, we got that in religion. We got the religion versus spirituality. Then we got the white people versus the black people because you don't have enough melanin. You got EO melanin. You got feel melanin. And you can't tap in, but you can tap in. And your eyes look like this. And my eyes like this. And my hair is curly. Your hair is straight. All of that. I don't subscribe to that. I've been on every last level of that. And what I've concluded is that we're all God. And it's one God, one faith, baptism. And we all have the innate ability to tap in. It's just an illusion of separation. And we're on a journey to remember that we are the same. We're one of the same. But divided, we fall. A kingdom divided amongst itself cannot stand. So that's why I don't, that's why I'll talk, I'll talk to you all and I'll tell you this side of it. And then I'll tell you this side of it. Well, well, yeah, your family doing this here, da, 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 da. But then I'll tell you this side, but you know, everything happens through you. Life happens through you. So you have to be accountable for your thoughts. I tell you both sides, every time I'm doing consultations or when I'm talking to you, because the one don't work without the other. As within, to without. So fix both of them things and come together <laughs> and realize that we're everything. We are. I've studied, I've researched this thing. I know myself. I've been inside of myself to get to know myself. And to know myself, I gotta know everything outside of me that's around me because it's me too. Yeah. Yeah. Let's see. Girl, you preach it. <laughs> I'm preaching today, Anna. That's funny. God having human experience. Hey, Trey. Yeah. Eric, don't stop now. Don't stop now. Oh. Now it on because you, you right. Oh, don't stop now because you right. That's right. Yeah, yeah. The personal relationship that's on. Yeah, you gotta. That's where you start from. That's where you start from the personal relationship, and then you gotta understand your relationship to everything else. Why everything else you're inquisitive about. When you get to know you, you understand why you're drawn to certain people, certain places, certain things. But it's all in about getting to know you first. You gotta go inside to get to know you. And so I was the, really the purpose of this here coming on here was just talking about how I go out and I ground myself and to see if my videos was being played because you know I, I posted some videos and um, they was just sitting there without any views and see if I was shadow banned or whatever you call that crazy stuff on TikTok or whatever. But grounding myself teaches me about me too. The earth teaches me about me because the earth is me. You know, I am the earth. From dust thou art, and dust thou shalt return. Every mineral, every vitamin, all the iron and stuff in the earth's core, I have that in my body too. So that's me. Me laying on top of me. <laughs> the sun is me. The sun is me too. I got a. I am a condensed version of the sun. You know? Uh, the minerals inside of the sun that gives me life, I'm the life force too. I have that inside of me too. You know, my life. Should be able to shine upon the mountain for others to see to be able to heal people the water is me i'm made up of 80 percent water i am life life i am hydrogen i am oxygen that's why i needed to survive you see everywhere you look you're gonna see you <laughs> you everywhere you all that exists you know the wind the wind is me the wind is me too i am the breath of life yeah god breathed breath into man and man became a living soul that's me too <laughs> that's my thoughts that's my expression yeah the water is my emotion you know so yeah you everywhere you're you're, you're it you're it hey Dion thank you for being here you glowing oh I am yeah. thank you babe oh I just got finished um charting up on my um my um magnet maybe that's why <laughs> I just got finished meditating on my rare earth um magnet in the yard and then i got on live so maybe that's why but i'd like to think i'm always glowing ever so gently <laughs> yeah that personal relationship is on yeah that's so true 
Yeah, it's about a relationship with yourself. So just, just go. That's why I don't. Whenever somebody tell me, the whether they talking about the altar, whether they talking about the goddess of shoe, whether they talking about going to church, whatever they talking about, I be like, go, 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 explore yourself. I don't say, oh no, you gotta be conscious and you gotta do it this way. That's the only way. No, because I've been down all of them rabbit holes and I want you to go down them for yourself because that's how you get to know yourself when you go inside of yourself. So slide on down the rabbit hole of the Hebrew Israelites if you want to, if it's your season for that. Slide on down that rabbit hole of the church if that's what you want to. Slide on down that rabbit hole and conjure up some witches if that's what you want to do. Go slide and do some black magic. Go slide and be a vegan. Go slide yeah, after you get done slipping and sliding you're gonna come to the ultimate conclusion because we all on the same journey we just go and some of us just take the scenic route that's just it we just take a scene right some of us you know stay on one little lane forever but well, that's okay we got forever we got eons and eons and lifetimes and lifetimes go and experience yourself and whatever yourself wants to experience about yourself so I, it ain't for me to judge you I'm not judging you. I'm looking you through the eyes of, of God, experiencing yourself. So do you, God. And y'all let me do me too. Because <laughs> I'm going to do me. Yeah. We hear him. He said his people hear us. Yeah. Yeah. Feeling is why I'm crying out to him again. Oh my God. Feeling. Feeling. Crying. Explain that crying though. Cause like, yeah, brown sugar. Cause like crying, I don't, I don't want to um, misinterpret it. There's nothing wrong with crying. You have tear ducts for a reason, right? And I look at it as if you're rinsing your heart off. So yeah, sometimes we do cry, right? But um, the feeling, if you want to stay in alignment with yourself, should be at peace and you know understanding. Because love is understanding, right? And so you want to be vibrating at the frequency of love. And so that's what we would say is you being connected. You being tapped in when you're feeling love. And that's when your manifestations and everything is flowing to you. So if you're crying out to him, I'm thinking you're talking about Jesus. Well, realize that you are him. And oftentimes in our journey, some people, they, they, they want to have a reason, and I'm not saying this is you, but I do consultations, so I'm saying that this is some of the people I consult with. Some of them want to have a reason to get out of alignment with themselves. And that's, and that's okay, because I look at that as maybe maybe you need a break, you know? Because you have all lifetime to figure out yourself, right? To evolve to your higher self. So if you want to sit there and just cry and be on cry frequency, ain't nothing wrong with that. But I just want to let you know that when you're on the cry frequency, the things that you're really wanting, you know the the higher to obtain the good things up there they're not going to be able to be reached you're only going to get the things that you're vibrating on the frequency of so if you're crying down here they might have just living paycheck to paycheck i'm just throwing out example living paycheck to paycheck not having the prop the healthy relationships that you want um um not having the so-called good luck in life so to speak you know how do you put those little terms on there when really, you no, know, you just manifesting, you just manifesting down here with the cry baby people at. But the people that's loving and the people that's um, joyful and the people that's sitting up here looking through the eyes of God at all things and people that understand that there's a season, you know, for everything underneath the sun, there's a time to be born, there's a time to die. And they say, that, okay, that, you know, they surrendering to the laws of the universe, understanding that there's a cause and the effect for everything, understanding that there's a law of assumption and I'm going to tune my frequency to this law of assumption for the things that I want up here, then they're going to get the things up here. So it, it don't matter. All is God. I'm just, just trying to break it down with God manifesting here and God manifesting down here. Now you just choose what you want to be with them feelings because those emotions are indicators and those indicators are letting us know that we're not tapped in or tuned in to our higher state of being. The spiritual essence of us that's tapped into infinite intelligence. That's the non-physical part of us. That non-physical part of us is up here. That's when we feel good, we in alignment with that non-physical part of us. When we feel so bad, we get an emotion letting us know, hey, you're not in alignment with your higher self. So I'm going to give you this here little feeling and you're going to be feeling like a crybaby for a little while. Because you've snapped yourself off. You cut yourself off from the love of the so-called God within yourself. You did that. And it's okay if you want to do that and stay down there. It's okay. You can stay down there. But you're going to keep on having this feeling while you're down here. Because the feeling is from your higher self saying, um, 
I'm up here calling you. I can't, I can't come out of alignment and come and get you. Mm, nope, I can't. You set it up that way. You told me to stay up here and stay in alignment with who I am and at my best. Who I am is love. Who I am is God. Who I am is you, actually. <laughs> who I am is you. And I'm tapped into all-knowing, infinite intelligence. 100% of my brain capacity. I know everything you want. I have everything you want, matter of fact. I have it with me. But you got to come up here and get it. You got to feel good. You got to feel joy. You got to feel that all things are working out for you no matter what this physical reality looks like. You got to understand that there's an illusion of separation. You got to understand that you're never going to get this thing called life wrong. You got to understand that. But you say, oh, I feel like Ryan. Where is God? It's not fair. Some people are just lucky. Yeah, it sucks. Maybe I'm too black. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's how that go. And I wasn't talking about you. I was just throwing an example to get people to see it. But that's how that go. Once you figure that part out, yeah, yeah, yep. He said his people hear his voice, but sometimes we don't listen. So that higher self that I was talking about, that's the voice. Everybody have their voice. Everybody have their own expression of what God is and what God is not. And so we all have what we might call God, our higher self, but it ain't for other people to get your experience with your God and how you see God. It's for you to get it. <laughs> That's where a lot of people, you know, get you know a little confused at. Oh, you got to get God like I get God. No, you don't. No, no. Let people get God the way they want to get God. Yeah. Yeah. Yep, that was amazing. Yeah, yeah, brown sugar. Good evening, gorgeous soul. Hey, hey, Tara. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, let people experience God however they want. However they want, whatever they God is for them. Cause you can you can go in people's head and make them think something different. You can't. God could be a it to some people, you know, just like you saying him, you saying him, but to me, God is a it. God is the universe, infinite intelligence, you know, my inner being, my subconscious mind, however you want to look at it to me. It ain't no man up there with a, you know, sitting on the, on the chair, you know, the pearly gate, uh, you know, the streets paved the gold kind of thing. No, not to me. But I can't make nobody else say that it's like that for them. They might be waiting on that man. They might think it is a man. They might talk to him and say him and be like, man, God, why you did da 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 da. But I just don't look at God like that. Because if I call God a him in my everyday practice, that means he got to be over there. If I call my son, if I tell y'all I have a son and he is over there, he does great things for me. He takes care of his mother because he loves his mother. You're going to understand it to be that he is separate from me. But my God not separate from me. My God is within me. So that's why I say my God is a it, my source my subconscious mind, my breath that I breathe, my everything. But I'm never going to tell you that my God idea. I'm never going to tell you that because I'm never ever going to separate myself from my God. See, we, we do that maybe because we got it twisted in religion or something. But no, my God can't be out there. Because if my God out there, that means he ain't in here. <laughs> or it ain't in here. You see what I'm saying? So... That's just how I see it. You can separate yours if you want to. But I ain't going nowhere without my it inside of me. No. It is my everything. 
It is how I'm able to talk to you. It is what talks through me to you. It is what downloads information to me on the daily. It is what gives me my inner being, my strength, my breath, my heartbeat, my vision, my everything. So I am not going to ever say that my God, my it is not a part of me. Never. Never. Now, I will never call it no man upstairs. No. I will never wait on Jesus or something outside of me to come to save me because my God is already in me. But that's just my belief though. And that's something that I told myself over and over again until it became law for me. And it's gonna work for me like that. And so this is why when you'll find people saying, no, it have to be Jesus way, it gotta be this way. Cause I had this, this near death experience and I'm telling you that Jesus, the white Jesus or the black Jesus or the or the Buddha or whoever I believed in came to me and said it's this way it only came to you and said it was that way because that was your belief already that was what you had in your it or your subconscious mind as being your it my it is gonna come in my form your it is gonna come in your form because your it is what you believe and my it is what I believe and nobody should be trying to change that about nobody let people go through because at the tail end of it all, it's really one God, one source, one it, one he, one, one Jesus, one whatever, one world, one collective consciousness. Oh, thank you, brother sugar. <laughs> that was pretty cool. You see what I'm saying here? Yeah, that's the beauty of divinity. Yeah, hey, Star Harris. Yeah, that's the beauty of it all. Like, oh, you, you express yourself like that. You think of God like that. That's interesting. Oh, yeah, yeah. But you got to be open-minded enough to do that, though. You know? Open-minded to let everybody be. Everybody think about how they want their divine God or, or their birthright or their physical reality to be and to be expressed. It's still beautiful. Just because it's not the way that you wanted it to be don't mean it's shit, eh? <laughs> it don't mean it. They had this lady that called me. She was a Jehovah Witness. They were doing something at the pole. And she called me. I don't know how she got my cell phone number. Anyway, she called me and she knew my name. And she was asking. She said, we were going to have people at the park. And she was like, talking to me. And I was just listening to her. And she was like, oh, are you a Jehovah Witness too? I said, no, I'm not. But this is really interesting. I like what you're doing. She's like, oh my gosh, you're the only person that's ever stayed on the phone this long with me. I said, really? <laughs> I said, really? She's like, yeah. So are you going to come? Are you going to come to the park? Because they were doing some free stuff or whatever. I was like, yeah, yeah, I'm going to come. She's like, could I have your address? She's like, wait, let me get the pen. I'm supposed to send everybody a flyer, you know, who said they're going to come to this event. <laughs> She's like, but I don't even have a pen in my hand because nobody's never seen on the phone with me this long. And I'm like, yeah, in my mind, I'm like, yeah, because not, everybody's not open-minded. But I just admire just her passion for where she was in the, her journey. You know, she ain't gotta she ain't gotta be conscious like me. She she ain't gotta think that God is within her. She could think that she the only one hundred forty four thousand. I just want to hear what she have to say about why she's lucky one and I'm not. <laughs> I just want to hear. I just love people expressing themselves however they want to be. That's really love, cause love is really tied to understanding. Love is understanding yeah yeah facts i say it bothers me to think god is within it bothers them maybe to think god is within them yeah yeah probably so probably so because i i, I feel like some people honestly is just afraid of their god within it's really tied to fear because fear normally be tied to the unknown unknown that they are that powerful and that those greater works in the miracles that this is the generation that's supposed to be actually doing that in physical form and to be accountable for that is kind of, it could be kind of scary especially when you're coming out of religion we are taught i am uh corey okay we were taught to search outside of ourselves yeah we were taught that we were taught a lot of things um i don't want to say wrong but on the opposite end of the spectrum matter of fact i, I did a video today y'all that um in so many words we were taught not to um talk to ourselves like talking to ourselves is crazy like right and i did a video i'm gonna post it 
after I get off of here. Um, but I did a video saying, it was like, name something you're, you do that you're not going to say you're sorry for. And then I said, talking to myself. Yeah, because myself is hooked up to infinite intelligence. And I'm not ashamed of that. We were taught that that was crazy. Well, guess what? Put me on the crazy bus because uh, guess what? I talk to myself because myself is tied up into infinite intelligence. Yep. I talk, I answer in everything because God is within me, not without. And so if we start to, you know, be boisterous about the crazy things that we were taught, like ass backwards, like, right, at the lower end of the spectrum, then other people will not be so ashamed of those things, you know, and they'll come out of their closet by it too. And then we'll have a whole collective in sync we're not being ashamed to accept that God is within, to being boisterous about the fact that, yeah, I talk to myself sometimes and I get these thoughts and these downloads sometimes and, and it's okay and it's normal. And guess what? It gives me the best experiences and it's like something is guiding me. And if I say this here, maybe some children will get a hook to something like this here and then they'll be able to trust their internal GPS which every last one of us in physical form have with us now some of y'all if y'all just out of religion y'all might call it oh I got an angel or oh I got my grandma or you can call it whatever you want to call it whatever you find peace with calling it but at the end of the day it's you your God in physical form having a human experience <laughs> yeah yeah so so true say that yeah Gen oh god generating organization and demonstration yeah yeah it's all mental there's some state of conscious yeah so true yeah <laughs> thank you sis you're welcome i am corey yeah yeah so it's true Wait a minute, now these comments jumping. Again, let me see. We were taught to give away our power, yeah, to something outside of ourselves, like maybe maybe Jesus, um, you know, maybe maybe even sometimes um if we hold on to it too much and we'll say the the um the crystals or whatever, you know, whatever that's outside of you. Yeah. Yeah. I believe we were taught what the masses consciousness was ready to receive at that time. Oh, what the masses consciousness was ready to receive at the time. See? And that goes in the line with meant with everything being perfect. Yeah. Because like had we been like say for example, years ago somebody taught you about crystals or showed you because I remember I remember they had this guy on Facebook. I don't even remember his name. I went to school with him, but I remember the day when I saw him posting about the Egyptian um the hieroglyphics in um in the in the hallways, whatever that be the wall art. And I saw him, but his energy though, he was like yeah, because y'all don't even know where the hell y'all come from. And he was like fussing with people on Facebook, whatever. And I, something about those pictures, it drew me kind of like I was so inquisitive. And it stamped in my mind as a memory that I'll never forget. But the fact that his energy was off, it kind of showed me away from him. And I just, I just walked away. But I remember it like it was yesterday and I actually blocked him. I blocked him on Facebook and not in, and I, this is why, this is why I remember it so vividly because I went back to my block people and I couldn't find him no more. <laughs> and I never found him ever since, but I went to school with this guy. I know his face if I ever were to see him again, but I went to school with him and he was talking something that seemed like it was Greek to me. And so the masses, you were saying the messages, masses uh, couldn't understand certain things at certain times. For me, I couldn't understand that at that time. And I ran my ass away from it and I blocked him. I had, I remember it was a long time, maybe about a year or so that I had them blocked up and then I figured it out and I was ready to receive, but I couldn't find him no more. 
But that was perfectly orchestrated for me to even experience that and for it to be embedded in my mind as a memory in my subconscious mind kept on coming back to me. And then I found myself in consciousness, people just would give me things to read or whatever when I had a thought because whenever you ask, like if you're asking in your habitual thinking, man, I wonder, I wonder where I'm stemming from. God never asks, him his, never asks himself a question that he or she don't know the answer to. So that means the universe, your subconscious mind and your physical form is gonna make way for you to receive that answer. And for me to receive that answer, it was through people in my reality, my reflections, giving me answers, giving me books. And so I got a book on how to read the hieroglyphics in um, you know, the Egyptian language and stuff. And I remember the guy, I'm like, oh my God, here I go. Here I go going down this rabbit hole that he been going down and he been trying to get me to understand, but I wasn't ready. And that, that's, that goes with what you're saying. When the student is ready, the teacher appears. I believe that that saying goes. Yeah, gotta be when you're ready. Yeah, yeah, the caller and the sender. Yeah, you're right, yeah. All those things stole our essence, yeah. Well, well, stole is harsh, but yeah, I get what you're saying now. I am Corey. I see peace and love again. Oh, hey, you bad. Okay, so you're not going to tell me if you're married or not. That's not the point of this, this particular life. What does it matter? What does that matter to you, Eric? Tell me that, babe. I want to understand that. They say milk for babes and meat for men. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you know, even when we were in church and religion, it was like whether we were in babes in, in, in Christ, you know, the babes taking the milk. milk. And when you, you're you not a babe no more, then you could chew on that meat. <laughs> yeah, the lips of wisdom are sealed only in the ears of understanding. Oh, I like that. I like that. Hey, Star Harris. Yep. Yeah. So yeah. So yeah. That that's just how I look at things. And you know, to each his own. We all on a journey. Ain't nobody so 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 right or so 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 wrong. We just on a journey. Let's see. Ah. Is this what I think it is? Kuta Kinta, it is. How are you doing, sweetheart? I am perfect. Thank you for being here. I'm honored. Thank you for joining. That's a blessing, babe. So yeah, I think it's beautiful. Just just express to God however you want. But just as long as you get something from your God too, you know, because you like, and it goes back to the religious setting for me when I was in religion. I had a lot of times where I was crying in religion, like, right? Just crying. So when you're crying and begging during your asking, you're not really getting what you were wanting because you are pushing that thing from you. So if you're getting and receiving, keep on going because that, that that's letting like, you know, yeah, I'm doing this thing right. Now you could get, now keep this in mind, you can be one of them so-called people that believe in Jesus, which is outside of you. But if your belief is unwavering if your belief is really really strong you should be able to get all of the blessings from your jesus or your god that's outside of you still the same because it's based upon your belief but for me the crying the begging was not getting me the things that i wanted and so i became accountable with my emotional side my heart my feeling my magnetic state of being to draw things to me so I, it don't it don't really matter what who you really serve in here just as long as you make sure you serving with this here and with this here you see <laughs> do that part make sure you do that part because you gotta be in alignment you gotta be in alignment with what's in here yeah i'm doing perfect 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 wonderful glad to join your live you're so beautiful gal <laughs> thank you i appreciate that i'm living in arizona i just came here it's been maybe about two and a half weeks now 
Let's see, religion towards self-sacrifice practices. Yeah, that led to all unfulfilled life. Yep, self-sacrifice. Even with, like, cause I used to be like the um, pastor's assistant and stuff. Even with the way that they treated pastors and apostles and things. The, I've watched so many people in church forsake themselves so much for pastor or even for like when it was time to give money in the church there's this lady this lady would give her rent money would give her electric money all the time as a so-called sacrifice you know and I, at this time i was a little girl so as a little girl i would go sleep at this lady house and i would watch her I knew what she was doing in the church because I was heavily involved in the church. I was as a choir. I was in the choir before. I was a camera um, girl. I was the pastor's assistant. I was a treasurer. <laughs> and I was an usher. So I was able to know all of what all of the adults were doing. Plus, the you know, the children that was in the church, they were my friends. So I would often go to sleep over to the house. So if I was an usher that day, and I was standing in the healing and deliverance, you know, line, and I heard one of uh, one of the adults, because I was ear hustling all the time. They would be whispering, you know, to the pastor what their problem was while they was in the line. If I heard them, I was very inquisitive. So I paid attention and I listened and I remembered. And when I went to them people house, I saw how they were. And when I would go to that lady house, that lady used to always need money. She needed money the most out of all of them people. So when we got in church and, you know, after I slept over and I knew she needed money when I was by her house, when she got in church for so the next Sunday and I'm sitting there and I see her giving her money, I'm like, why is she doing that? Why she needed? No, no. In my little mind, I'm like, no, no, but I never said anything. I used to say this one thing over and over in my mind when I was in religion. I, when I was the usher and I would hold that red little cape to put on them ladies legs when they passed out I would say when I grow up I don't want to be nothing like these people I'm getting up out of here and I'm a dare to do different everything that these people doing I'm doing different because something not adding up right I said that and I meant that and I did that in my journey too <laughs> yeah yeah <sighs> Was a guy named Sir Siren Seti that you blocked on Facebook? I don't remember his name, but I'm sure gonna write that name down because I want to find him. I want to find him. I went to school with him and he was teaching some good stuff. I just wasn't ready for it. I wasn't ready for it. I'm sure gonna um, write it down because I ain't never seen that man since. <laughs> yeah. I'm right there now. I'll let you know. I'll get back with you on that, uh, Corey, because I'm a show go um, find out. Oh, no, that's not Corey saying that. That's that's Obi. Okay. Obi, I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm going to find out, though, babe. Not begging God. Yes, definitely. Because it's a poverty mindset. Because if, you are, if you're begging, you're coming from a place of lack. Yeah, Corey, you're coming from a place of lack already. So asking you should receive so if you if when i first started out i looked at it like this here i looked at it like okay to break it down to logically in layman's terms for me to get it okay so the universe or god can't really hear me so to speak is how i played it it could only feel me it could only respond to what i'm thinking what i'm emitting to it so if i'm crying it's almost like the universe death per se that's how i played the game in my mind if i'm crying and the universe see me crying and beating up against the wall and saying why me the universe because the blessings of god are getting amen and it goes according to how you feel is looking at me saying give her more give her more give her more tears more you see so that's how i played it in my mind when i first was starting trying to make sense of this law of attraction thing that's what i did and so maybe that could help somebody so if you're coming from a state of poverty already begging like god no why me why just imagine it like that like uh oh you don't want to do that 
you're going to get more of those tears and more of that suffering and more of that, that homelessness and more of those wrecked relationships. Yeah, because it goes according to how you feel. So sometimes, so so that's why I be like, even now in my right now reality, baby, if something happened where I had to cry, oh, I'm going to cry me a good hot five minutes. But in my mind, every minute, to every second that's passing, because I, I understand that this, this emitting of energy is going like every 17 to 20 seconds. You know, you hold that, that energy that you done created some, some loops of that freaking reality right to loop back and give life to more i know in my mind look you better hurry up with these goddamn tears come on let's get this cry shit out of here come on come on come on cry it out let's get it out because we ain't revisiting this no more we ain't about to recreate this thing no more we ain't gonna be letting the universe say yay and amen to that not no more this year <laughs> so when you get that in my in mind because in the biblical text when they tell you um, the fear of the Lord is the beginning of all wisdom. They're telling you that the fear of the laws, L-A-W, the laws, the laws of attraction, the laws of assumption, the laws of soul, cause and effect, the fear of those laws, the law of vibration. That's the beginning of all wisdom. So when you know them laws, you know to get your ways about it at crybaby stage. You know this too shall pass. You know that you're always learning and that you're always winning. The fear of the laws. Now you go and f fear the Lord, the man upstairs, the outside version of yourself. That's part of the journey to go on and do that. But where I am, I'm fearing the laws. <laughs> yeah, the laws. Yeah. Yeah, beautiful. The, yep, law of compensation. Yep. Yep. The, all that. Sunday class this evening. This evening. <laughs> That's funny. And I really didn't mean to be on here this long. I'm happy to hear you speak this message to my heart. Yeah. Yeah, Corey. It really, really matters. Yeah. I have deep gratitude and love for you. Oh, thank you, Corey. I appreciate that, babe. I feel deep gratitude always, teach. Yeah. Because I had similar experience. Oh, my. Your content being called yeah it should be first the church should be paying your bill. oh i see yeah yeah they should west africa okay that's okay beautiful i love that name uh kid cool the kid yeah let's see uh when to touch a degree <laughs> let spirit move i'm so grateful you're here Oh, you manifested me. Oh, okay. Well, that's why I'm on here. You you, you got me on here. Huh? You brought me into your little kingdom, my brown sugar. That's beautiful. But yeah, if you look at it like that, that'll help you. I, it took me a long time to figure that out. I'm not saying, you know, don't have no emotions. Yeah, go through the emotion. Just don't, stuck there. don't get stuck there. Don't get stuck there being the victim, man. Because you will forever be the victim you know how they say they have that song then that god shall get then there's that not that's not shall lose that's how it go that's really how it go how you feel really really matters and so when you learn that and understand that you use that as a tool you know not to be no fake because it could become toxic when you fake faking it out like you know like don't fake it be in love with it you know be in love with feeling good. Be in love with being happy. Be in love with feeling peace and bliss and joy. Be in love with that state of being. And use that as a place where you're always going to frequent. If you fall out of that so-called love state or joyful state, it's okay. But now you know that that's where you should be or you need to be to get your manifestations. But if you never need a break from the so-called happy or from so-called feeling good, go on and cry. Go on and roll over on the floor or whatever. Don't be fake with it. Be seriously in love when you're in love or enjoy when you're in joy. And when you're just not, well, just, just you know, energy is going to fluctuate. Just don't stay down too long because you're going to get the, everything that's down there from that perspective of life. You're going to keep on manifesting down there. And a lot of us don't want the stuff that's down there. <laughs> you know, we don't want that. Yeah.
She said, how you feel really matters. Yeah, it does. Yeah. 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 I'm in love with loving you. Yeah. Be in love with loving self because love happens or life happens through you. Be so in love with you and that has to do with everything. Self-concept is the core of all of this here manifestation of being happy with yourself, being at peace with yourself. Because if you can, if you can sit there and be so in love with yourself, you will automatically have an, habit, an habitual thought that says, okay, since I love me at this state of being, I'm attracting him, I'm attracting her, I'm attracting this, I'm attracting that, I'm attracting it because I'm a magnet. Because of all of this love that I have filled up for myself, I draw things to me because I lifted myself up so much. I'm in love with my eyes. I'm in love with my voice. I'm in love with my physical. I'm in love with my mental. I'm in love with my spiritual. I'm so much in love. And since love is the most powerful form of energy that there is, that my love, my magnetic force of love is drawing all of these other experiences to me, through me, because of me, because I'm love. And when you get to that state of being, you can you can be having her, you begin to have habitual thoughts saying, he's here because he's loved me, because he loves me. She's doing that because she loves me. Oh, she feels my love. He's complimenting me because he feels my love. He thinks I'm beautiful. Oh, that's just my love because I love me. Therefore, he has to love me. You see what I'm saying here? That's the self-concept core we should be having. And so when you have a self-concept core like that, then you have no choice but to feel good about yourself because you done filled up your cup and everybody is around you because they know that your cup is full. They want some of the substance. They want some of your overflow because your cup run it over. And so they follow you, they give to you, they walk up to you and they ask you who are you and where you're from. They tell you that there's something about you that's unique, that's different. They tell you that you have a beautiful aura. They tell you that you have a beautiful voice, that they're in love with your voice. They tell you maybe that your body look good in the physical reality, but it's not none of that. It's the ability for you to connect to, talk, to source energy and to become one with the superconscious, to remember that you're love. It is the fact that your self-concept is up to par. You know yourself because you went inside yourself to figure yourself out and to the core of yourself, your love. That's what a self-concept, a solid self-concept is all about. Knowing that even on my so-called bad days, knowing that if I if 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 I fall out of this so-called vortex or if I if I get to a so-called low frequency, guess what? I'm still love. I'm still a powerful manifester. I'm still never getting this thing called life wrong. I'm still God in physical form, having a human experience. I'm still love. Yeah. Yeah, I am Corey. Thank you for the heart. Thank you. Thank you for the gifts. Thank you, Brown Sugar, for the paper crane. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Queen of Unseen. Oh, I love that name. This is true. Oh, my God. Yeah. Yeah, loving myself first and sharing the authentic overflow. Yeah, that's the only part you share now. That's the only part. And you see, that's that's another end of the spectrum that we started off kind of like a low frequency in church. They tell you to give, 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 give. But you can't give on E. I can't even be in this car right now with this car being on. At least I had some kind of fuel, some kind of fuel to turn this car on. I could not have started it on E. So don't start off on E. Me, and also don't give from your cup and pour over into the body. Don't be pouring over, no. You let people around you and your physical reality get your overflow of your abundance, of your love, of your joy. But everything that's inside of that cup, the inside of that cup belongs to you. Don't you ever tilt over to give nobody that because they'll drink, they'll sup, they'll take, they'll sip the last out of the straw and leave you on E, baby. Don't give them all of your essence, all of your life force. Because when that begins to happen, that's when you start looking old and withered away. That's when you start getting on low frequency. That's when you start living in fear. That's when you start living from paycheck to paycheck. Because you let you didn't let everybody sip out of your cup. You don't pour it over. No, you just give them that overflow. Nothing more. Your overflow. 
This is why in the biblical text, Jesus, in the allegory story about Jesus, when that lady touched the hem of his garment, he was operated in overflow. He said a part of him is left. Wait, I, I, I know somebody didn't slurped up some of my overflow. They didn't take all of my essence. I just know that I had enough to give and in my overflow ain't, ain't over there no more. So when I come and I share with you all the manifestations, even my energy right now, this is my overflow that I'm sharing. I'm not giving y'all everything in my cup because I need my essence of what's in my cup, my life force for me to continue manifesting. If I pour it out, then, then I'll be good for nothing. This is why they say in the biblical text, they say, you are the salt of the earth. But if the salt lose its savior, wherefore would it be salted? It would be good for nothing, but to be trampled on by men. If you lose all of your life force, that brings you down to like fear. That brings you down for stress. That brings you down to death. When you lose the life force, when you flat line. So don't give all of the essence of your life force away. Church, I've had us a little twisted by that too because pastor came first and what you did for others and everybody outside of you came first. Forsake yourself first. Be nothing. Be empty. But just as long as you're here for other people, give them everything. Buddy, you're not going to find in this spiritual journey that you're going to be able to last like that. You got to change that thought there. Do it while you want to. I'm not trying to spoil you no way but if it don't feel good no more you gonna get tired and that's gonna be your indicator or your emotion from your higher self well yeah well we didn't did it on low frequency already we didn't gave up we had well let's change our mind let's experience ourselves a different way god because we tired of that and that emotion of being tired is is perfect even that tired emotion is perfect for you god to change your mind oh you got tired and being tired made you change something about your situation well good for you god good for you it's okay to get tired god yeah 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 so true so true i'm telling to get some of you anything wrong with me loving on you but these words are life let's see all right he says the energy left me yeah 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 you could feel that you could feel the essence of something leaving you you can feel it because it's always an energy exchange it's always an energy exchange i'm exchanging energy right now i'm emitting energy right now to y'all but guess what at the same time you all are emitting energy to me too when you type in when you hear these 29 people up there that's energy it's an energy exchange so something is leaving each time yeah the, the attention yeah yeah i just want some of you right now what eric you you you, you. eric wait a minute you need to be muted or something because no i'm not this okay anyway so i'm done for i gave it to her wait what are we talking about over here i already have i don't know what that conversation about what about the woman at the well the living water uh the woman at the well is that the, was that the woman that had um the woman at the well she was sleeping with other men or something like that right is that the woman you're talking about what do i do i don't understand your question babe just justin what do i do what are you asking me what do i do it's chopped up i just want some life again oh i see now i gave it to her who is her justin so i'm done for i already have you're just chopping up words sentences here that i don't understand a totality of saying i just want some life again you you're alive now what do you mean life from what what you laughing at emmanuel i see you thanks for getting him out of here oh <laughs> Oh, y'all was reading his stuff. I didn't know what you were talking about. He's falling in love and stuff. I'm like, what? Somebody told me first thing this morning. 
that I'm his wife or whatever. And then last night, I'm like, what? How many husbands I got in the physical reality? Like, no, I'm not here for that. I'm, I promise you, I'm not. I'm not. Go go by the other ladies that want that. That that, that, that feel like that that is what they came for in the physical form. For I mean, I think it's a beautiful thing, union and all, and relationships. Yeah, yeah. But um, but when I come live, I'm not trying to be somebody's wife on the live. That's that's funny. It's about giving all of my message away. I was hoping you block him. <laughs> y'all was ready for him to be. Why he gone now, y'all? I just figured out how to do it, and I, I didn't. I didn't know it was that easy. Yeah. So anyway, I didn't want to say nothing because I figured you would say he was me. <laughs> Kilo is so funny. <laughs> oh my god, that's funny. That's funny. Oh my god. That was really funny. I'm depleted and I am empty. You see that word, Justin, that you use it right there? I am. That I am word is so freaking powerful. I am. Out of all the words in the 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 <laughs> I'm not laughing at you, Justin. I'm still laughing from Kilo. Out of all the words you could have selected, those words are really, really low. And when you say I am, you define yourself energetically. So we could start with your choice words here and we could choose another lighter word. Maybe a little bit more general. I'm depleted and I'm empty, you saying here. Well, how about let, let's go a little bit general and increase our frequency just a little bit more and say, well, I'm still alive. I am well, I am here, I am present. I may not have figured it all out, but I'm on a journey. I'm learning. Things are looking better for me. You know? Instead of going so, so, so low, I don't understand what the totality is. You said something about her. I guess this is a relationship that you're talking about over here. But if it is a relationship with you, Justin, I want to tell you this. You only attract that which you are. You said something about her. I don't know. But you only attract that what you are so okay if you were to get in a relationship right now justin and i'm not being uh ugly with you but i do consultations and i'm going to talk to you like i would talk to somebody i was consulting with if you get in a relationship today justin you are going to attract somebody who is depleted and somebody who is empty because that's what you just told us that you are oh look at my sister i got a beautiful black butterfly that just flew up in here in my garage and she is on top of my goddess of shoes shrine that's over here oh my goodness i wish i knew how to flip this wait justin i'm coming back to you wait. um so yeah justin that's all you're gonna attract that's all you're gonna attract that what you are so i encourage you that you become something greater so your reflections will be something greater for you but you gotta start with you first though justin it, it, it's all going to be you. It's going to be the things that you tell yourself that you are. So tell yourself something more positive than that you're depleted and, and this and that. Listen to the self-concept uh, affirmations that I have on my YouTube channel. You know, start leaving some sticky notes on your mirror in the morning. Start listening to music that will pump you up to make you feel better than that which you're feeling right now. Start being easy on yourself, Justin. Start thinking about the things that you've done in this lifetime. Start thinking about how handsome you are in the physical. Start thinking about your spiritual essence that it wants expansion and how, how it is, the foundation of it is love. Start thinking about the things that you desire in your physical reality. Start looking upon the things that are beautiful. Just like when you were talking to me, butterflies are beautiful to me. And, that, and, came, and one just came on my life to show me what I think is beautiful. To show me the things that I think of. Just like hummingbirds are beautiful to me and I attract them and I love them and when I see them, I find the beauty in them. Find the beauty, go outside, find the beauty in the sun. Find the beauty in some flowers that you see outside. 
Find the beauty in the local park. Find the beauty at the local water park. Find it. Look for it. And guess what? You'll get more of it. And then you'll get more of it. And then you will become the beauty that you're looking upon. You'll become the love that you're seeking outside of yourself. You'll become the higher frequency that you're not emitting right now. But you got to do something first with you. It all starts with you. And you, you're going to be low as long as you say you're low. You're going to be that because that's the belief that you have. But you have also the power to believe something else, Justin. You have the power to change that belief to another belief. You do. And so if you were somebody that I would consult with, we, 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 we would not stay on that frequency throughout each consultation. We, I'm, we're not going to talk about that. We're going to talk about now, next week, we're going to be talking about, okay, what did you find last week to look upon to make you feel a little bit better this week? What did you do for yourself? What did you milk yourself with? Like, as far as music, what did you put on your body? Did you buy you some, some, some good smelling cologne? Did you eat you some electrified foods? Did you dance a little? Did you go to a party? Did you look at a baby and see a baby smile or a baby laugh? Did you watch cartoons? Did you watch the stars at night? Did you feel connected? Do you feel connected to all things? Because all of this is you, Justin. Justin, you are actually a master manifester, Justin, because Justin, you attracted me in your reality, Justin, because you were asking yourself how, and I am merely your subconscious mind here on TikTok explaining to you how, what you have to do, Justin. That goes to show you're connected to all. That shows that you have the innate ability to tap into source energy because you attracted me, Justin. Everything in life is you, Justin. I'm merely your subconscious mind telling you what you do need to do to me to get the best out of your human experience. I'm teaching you how to do you in your physical reality, but I am at the same time your subconscious mind, Justin. There's no coincidence. So you can't be powerless. You can't be that low because you're master manifester right now, Justin. You're everything right now. Life is happening through you right now and to you right now because of you right now, Justin. So Justin, when are you gonna be easy on yourself, Justin? This is what your subconscious mind wants you to know. When you gonna be easy on yourself? To be easy on yourself, Justin, is just for you to feel good. That's all we want you to do, feel, feel good, Justin. And you are gonna find that life gonna be easy for you, Justin. This is the message from God, or AKA your subconscious mind, which is God, is telling you right now, Justin, find the good. Justin, you are who you say you are. Justin, vibrate higher. Justin, we've been calling you. Justin, we are staying in alignment because you asked us to stay in alignment while you had a human experience. Justin, all you have to do is find love and joy and you'll stay in alignment. Justin, do you hear me? Justin, this is the inner being that you've been longing for to talk to you. Justin, can you hear me now? Justin, can you hear me now? That was beautiful, Justin. If I was you, I'd listen. I'd listen to my internal GPS or my inner being or my subconscious mind. Because all it wants is greatness for you. But you got to step up to it. It ain't coming down to, 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 to save. It ain't about to crack a sky to save. Because you actually are the savior. But you must first save yourself, Justin. Yeah. You got to save yourself with your thoughts. You got to save yourself with your heart. Yeah. Because when your thoughts get together with that heart, you have an electromagnetic field of energy that is your savior, Justin. We've been waiting for you, Justin. Could you join us, Justin? Join the party, Justin. Justin. Okay. Because I, I, I saw, I went into the comment and I saw, I gave it all away. What do you give away? You gave everything that was in your cup away? Well, guess what? It's time for you to pour another glass. Yeah. Because when you get in alignment, you hooked on to infinite intelligence which is an eternal overflow which is like you equivalent to going to the gas station you ain't even got to pay for nothing 
All you got to do is sit there and get in alignment. That's you putting the pump in. When you get in alignment, the pump is in, ready to fill you up. But you got to get in alignment first, though, Justin. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Kilo said it not manifesting it. Yeah, no, uh, uh, no. That's funny. That's funny. He gone now. It's honest. I am statements. Yeah, I am. I'm healed. Yeah, I'm healthy. I'm powerful. I'm open. That I love that one. I'm open minded. How about God is all I have at the moment? How about I have everything that I need? <laughs> yeah yeah that's beautiful that's beautiful yeah it's not anything anymore other than I'm at the starting yeah the starting place yeah it's beautiful it's beautiful and there's more to come for you babe we're standing with you Justin see that you have the whole collective consciousness because you're never alone you're never alone. There's no alone. That guy Eric was asking about a being alone. No, no, no. There's never alone. So, so what kind of what kind of abundance you want me to talk about? Infinite intelligence, God, the collective consciousness. You know, my thoughts. Even my thoughts are not alone. You know, this is a collection of thoughts. It's just not my first thought. I'm the, not the only one that thought this thought. I'm the one that's expressing this thought right now, but there are many others that are expressing this same thought because even thoughts is multiple. Everything, there's no one. Everything is two-sided and even with that in mind, it's multiple versions of them. So you're never going to be alone in this journey. Somebody else going through it. Somebody, there's, you're going to have a, a reflection that's going through it at a higher pace and then there's one that's going through it at a lower pace. And then there's going to be some that's going through it at your pace, but you're never going to be alone. Once you tap in, once you get to the to the fuel pump that I was talking about. And that's just you being in alignment. Your higher self is not really just a self, a person. It is a collective consciousness. It is. It is multiple. That's why when I like when I first started out my journey, I, I would often express it and I would say, oh, it's a lot of people. It's a lot of people talking to me because it's an abundance of thoughts, like, right? But it's the collective consciousness. We get so caught up into this being single thing. We're never single. That's another trick of it all. We're never single. There's no such thing as a single. No such thing. This is why when these children come forth in the physical reality and they go to school, and, and, and some of these children, well, all of them actually, just came from infinite intelligence, all-knowing, abundance, and they sit there and they struggle with math problems, and their parents probably telling them, I'm going to whoop your ways if you don't figure this out. What is... Four minus three. And the children is like, 100 million gazillion or something like that. And the parents getting upset. No, in their mind, there is no freaking one. Four minus three. One. That's Greek to them because they come from abundance. All knowing. No lack. Infinite intelligence. <laughs> Are you telling them that there's only one or wait, there's zero? There's no more? Oh my God. So the, the, the parent is tripped out over the fact that they think the child is dumb, but the child is tripped over over the parents thinking that the parent is dumb. Like, God dang it. No, there's never none, mom. Why are you trying to make me say there's only one? Why are you trying to make me say that there's no more? No. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We're standing with you, Justin. Oh, that's beautiful. Let's see. I'm one of the 144. There you go, Justin. I like that a whole lot better. Yes, Lord. Justin, one of the 144,000 who got all those chakra pools of energy in alignment. Yes, Justin. Let's see. Yes, I had to learn this. Yeah. This is my own motherhood. Yeah. Hey, Star Harris. Yeah, that's true. That's true. And I and I had to think back and when I was a mother and I was one of the mothers like, boy, what's wrong with you? You know? But you gotta understand where they come from too. Love is understanding. At every aspect, it is. Even as a mother, we think we know everything. We try to even our fathers, we be trying to act all, yeah, I'm the dad and I'm the mom type energy. Baby. 
you I find that you get a better relationship or a, a closer knit relationship when you when you're able to even be vulnerable around your children sometime and let them know hey look I don't know it all I'm just learning this thing called life you know myself but when I was in that situation I tried to do it this way da 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 but what you gonna do I I mean it's your journey. I understand that you hooked on to infinite intelligence too, and you have an internal GPS too. So let your internal GPS guide you and do what feels good to you. And because I love you and because I understand that love is understanding, I'm gonna understand you, I'm gonna love you, I ain't gonna judge you. I'm gonna just look you, look at you through the eyes of God. Because then when I look at you through the eyes of God, I know you can't get it wrong. <laughs> and I know that everything gonna work out for you. You know, that's just how I look at it. Yeah. 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 Oh, hey, Manuel. Just as she hears, she remembers six hours, so she can't have a full ball. Yeah, I really can't. I, 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 I tried to tackle some of the things that I, I thought you were saying, Justin. But if you need a consultation, baby, my uh, website is sort of the pub, um, dot org. But but that's the bulk of really what I say to somebody on a consultation, too. I hope it's going to start with you. You know, and oftentimes in the consultation, it's just people that really just need someone to listen, to hear. And I guess on my live, this is not the really place for it at this moment. But inside of your heart, though, Justin, what I found with um, consulting with people is we already know our answer. Yeah, because like I said, we hooked up to infinite intelligence. You already know the answer because you really already did this before. You're just trying to figure out why you did it. And so, being that you already know your answer, close your eyes, go within yourself, and stand firm on your faith in whatever your answer is for the next step in your journey. Because you cannot get it wrong, Justin, I promise you. I promise you, you can't get life wrong, no matter what anybody else has told you. There's always gonna be a learning lesson in there, and you're always gonna be winning. You're always gonna be winning even if you go through the same thing like they have some people that do consultations with me they've been in the same kind of shitty relationship where they got beat and beat and beat and beat and whatever and cheated and cheated and cheated and whatever what happens is each time around they get stronger and stronger or better yet it might start off with them getting tired and more tired because some of them I gotta tell them some of them I just be transparent with them you're not tired yet baby because when you get tired you do something. That's what the humans do. When they're tired, they do something different. So sit with yourself and find out what your answer is and when you're going to move in the next direction. And I'm hopeful that your next direction will be something positive. It's like the biblical text says, finally, my brother, whatsoever things that are of love, whatsoever things that are of joy, whatsoever things that are of peace, if they have any virtue in them, Justin, think on these things and that's what I would ask for you to do for yourself to get you out of that position position in life yeah yeah thank you for your wisdom I truly enjoy spending this time with you have a nice evening all right you too babe I was supposed to be going give me something to eat I'm about to get over here myself let's see thank you for your love you already know of his blessings thank you sister his love is infinite yeah just um yeah i want you to feel and experience that love when you sit with yourself babe anyway i'm about to go get me something to eat i just came on here for five minutes so i guess my my videos um spinning out because I, I thought you know my big videos was lagging so i came to do a little live to ask y'all about that and in any case um check out the video about the grounding that i just posted on my uh on my tiktok uh page I think you all, well, I know you all will benefit from that. And, oh, and on August 1st, I'm going to be opening up my website. So check out my website. It's in my link as well. And I think that's it. Okay, I'm about to go get me something to eat. I'm about to go eat, y'all. Y'all be blessed. This video was from my heart to yours. Be blessed, babe. Bye, Justin.